chat hello everyone and welcome back to the planet crafter available now today on steam you may have seen us play this game a few times before and a few days ago we started on our first full playthrough of the uh, early access version and this game's pretty darn cool we'll get started in just a second gotta do something in the background thank you everybody for being here thank you very much for all the support and the likes over the last couple of days it was my birthday yesterday and as usual, chat was pretty awesome. And because of that, we'll continue on doing daily giveaways, whether or not we hit our member goal. It used to be kind of like an extra perk thing as a thank you to you for all your support. But regardless, we're doing it now until we run out of keys. So jump on the Discord and uh, enjoy all the free giveaways. All right. Let's jump back into the Planet Crafter where we almost have everything done in terms of at least getting water on the planet but we must uh now start making uh trees and plants and eventually growing crops which sounds pretty cool all right one's in the chat if you're ready to go let's jump back into our save from yesterday <laughs> Good music. I noticed today, too, that uh, Little Tina, or sorry, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands comes out today, too, or at least I got access to that today. So we'll take a look at that a little later today, too. So that's going to be cool. No, there's not going to be bears. No, there's no bears, chat. Oh, God, is the bear emote back? I prefer the balloons. Oh, well. Balloons beats raptors bear emotes. Yeah. All right, let's jump back in. So we're about, um, I don't know. I'm 
I haven't beaten the game before, so I'm not sure exactly how far we are percentage-wise. Feels like halfway, but we have much more to explore and much more to build on our big O base. Absolutely. Uh, what did I eat for my birthday? I made... No, I didn't make. I bought, or I had, I should say, some awesome pad thai. Some of my favorite. Then I went out earlier last week for some good vittles as well. Ooh, hot pockets. I didn't have any cake though, nor have I, or, or I didn't have any cake yesterday or pie. I'm gonna have pie like anytime I find a good one. Ooh. Looking good. All right, look at our terraformation index. We're at 3 million point seven. So water's gonna start rising down here pretty soon. We're gonna have to keep an eye for that. I wonder what'll happen if our base ends up underwater, like if it'll just become Subnautica, or we can swim to our base, or if we can then make an enclosed... Oh, you know what this game needs is tubes. It needs uh, the ability to walk through enclosed... Oh, it'd be so cool to build your base at the bottom here, and then build a waterproof base that you can just walk into from the top. That'd be so cool. All right, where were we? So we've... Uh, let's take a look at all of our numbers. This game's a number game. So oxygen is at 1.87 parts per billion with an increase of 303 per second. Heat is at 589 with an increase of 136 and pressure is at 12860 at 600. The new emails. Oh yeah, we didn't have any last time. Well, let's drop off some materials. Let's get organized and go out on a little adventure. We'll go try to find some... Uh... Yeah, we're going to need some more materials. I think we're short on power, is it? Let's take a look at power. We have 10 kilowatts available. That's okay, but not really enough to build anything. All right, let's get things organized. Now, last time, chat was telling me that we need to build the big O rocket. If we if we go get iridium, that's what it is. We need to um, make two of the rockets to attract uranium and iridium, which will really help us boost our economy. Now, this is iridium blocker, but uranium and iridium are kind of the same thing. Not really, but they're kind of like a rare resource that go to make... important things. Air climbing simulator? Yeah. A little bit. All right, we gotta upgrade these. There's too many seeds. Let's see. Yeah, we know, we think we know where like a free iridium rod is. Iridium is pretty common too, so we could just go to the sand, um, the sand falls, which is nearby. we we'll try to go there. Actually, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try to clear out all the sand falls. It's a good place. Hmm. Rockets are very good when uh, lacking resources. Yeah, it'd be good to make more resources near the base. Oh, I forgot we have our ore extractor out there. But that thing's probably just making basic stuff. Actually, not bad. It doesn't seem to gather too much, but at least it's... The nice thing about that is it, that does create heat and pressure and ore. So it does three things in one, which is pretty pretty good. All right, so let's build the storage boxes. All right, so I guess we'll just make this seeds and plants together. Yeah, perfect.
Hmm. You need chocolate to start your day, Red? Well, I wonder if we can grow cocoa in this game. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to move some boxes around. Eh, you know this these types of games are a never ending organization dance. I guess we'll put ice here because it will be needed for plants. Okay. Organized again. Our ice box, or refrigerator. We may as well just call that the fridge. <laughs> okay, let's see. Drop off the iron. Worst case scenario, what we'll do here in the corners, we'll just do two iron boxes because apparently we need a lot of iron. All right, before we leave, I'm going to clear out the miner. So this game is out today, by the way. If you're watching this and you're like, wow, this looks good, yeah, you can now. Get it as of today in the full, full early access. And by that I mean it's like it's no longer a demo, but the game is also not complete. It is early access. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. My right, titanium, little meatballs, silicon. Magnesium oh, and cobalt. Okay, good. So the ore miner will kind of do some minor, minor mining for us while we're gone. Good. Grab a little bit of ice and get out of here. Go we'll get some water. Wow, this place is barren. We've like mined everything to make our base. I'm gonna go up top and see what else is up at the up top base. We do need to go back to some of our other uh, bases. And see what's there. Don't really need magnesium. Silicon I'll take though. Nice. Well, we have blue skies. And it rained recently too. Okay, so these are just empty storage. Okay. What if we should make a rain catcher? Might be a good idea to do that before we leave. Because it did rain last time. Yeah. Still a dust storm? Ice is so rare now. Well, at least around here. Can't believe we mined it all up. Uh, the next step is for water to raise. Okay. Let's 
let's see. Uh, iron. Alright, great. That was a good little material run. Get some ice when we get out of here. And I'm going to make some backup oxygen just in case. And we have the tier 4 backpack and the tier 4 oxygen tank. Cool. Yeah, we'll grab ice on the way back. Okay, so, uh, last time we went over that away and went into the canyon. We went to the canyon last time, we found, like, a, a fighter jet crash, and there was, like, um, another microchip there. We gotta make sure we get all the microchips. I think today we need to look for every box, like this. Oh, that's good, a lot of food in there. We're going to look for every box, and we're going to look for... we got to get some more gold boxes. The gold boxes have iridium and uranium rods in them, too. So I guess that's another thing we need to do, is find another gold box. I don't think we've gone in that wreck. I think that wreck has uranium in it. Let's go in there. Oh. We've not gone in that wreck before, I'm pretty sure. Oh good, iron and water in there. Titanium. And more water, good. Put food and water in there. Be a general dump box for anything. Okay, let's have a water. Let's go check out this wreck. Yo, what's up, Wolverines? Uh, did the ground ice melt off now? Yeah, some of the tunnels that we've been trying to go into did melt. I don't know if we went to the one by the canyon, though. I know we went to the one at the top of the hill by the... Um, We went to the one at the top of the hill by that first wreck closest to where we started. Oh, there's some iridium and uranium and aluminum. Good. That's why it's always good to go back to your old bases. All right, don't think we've gone in here. Let's see what they got. I also need to figure out how to start up these fusion reactors. seeds. Another microchip. Oh, fabric. Nice. Let's take everything. Before we left, I should have checked the uh, plants. Nice. Tier 2 heater gives us aluminum. That's good. Oh, and iridium. Yeah. Hey, Hack Golfer. Thank you very much for the $9.99. Right, we're going to have to come back. We're full. Oh, another box there. Thank you very much, my man, for the birthday wishes. Everything can go. Okay, we got to go to the back again.
Good, there was super alloy in there too. This, sh this wreck seems a little small. I feel like we missed something. Guess not. Oh boy. So now, well, we got a super alloy. That's good. And two blueprints. So we should make the um, the blueprint computer. GPS satellite tier one. An area lamp, good. Good idea to uh, make that little blueprints computer and decode uh, microchips like at your storage base rather than just taking it all the way back to your main base. There's no need to do that. Unless you're at the very beginning and don't have the materials. All right, what's most important? Let's see iridium numbers. But, uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight of those. And we have, I think, eight back at the base. So if we find two more, we can make two iridium rods. We have one uranium here. And I don't, I think we had eight uranium as well. Hmm. See, Douglas, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. We're gonna need more titanium from miners. And there's aluminum over there. Let's go on the hunt for aluminum. Haven't really been here too much. Yeah, an iridium rod is nine ore, and a uranium rod is nine ore, yeah. Okay, this area has a lot of uh, aluminum. Is that a craft site here? I didn't know that. Well, we might need to make a little base and come back. Looks like a little transport ship. coming back. Oh yeah, wow. Okay. We're coming back. Dude, that could be a full that could be a full aluminum haul. That's amazing. That's amazing. There's a gold box around there too. I, f I feel like you're right. Every, um, it seems like every crash site has an aluminum box, but yeah, that's true. Yeah, because everywhere that I found a gold box, which can sometimes be hard to find because, well, not only are they like really well hidden, but they're also uh, like gold color. Oh my God, there's more stuff here too. Oh my God, dude, there's so much stuff. That's beautiful. Sand Falls is amazing. I love that place. That was my birthday yesterday. It was great. 
Oh, it was a nice birthday. You, you guys are very nice. I really enjoyed the games we played yesterday. Wow, we're finding so much stuff here. This is crazy. I think it's one iron and one silicon to make the blueprints computer. UPS satellite tier two. Make another storage box. Use at this rate, we may as well make two more. That should be enough. Why did they crash? Um, not sure, really. There's just a lot of crash sites around in the game. I'm going to take all the aluminum now. Yeah, maybe maybe there's some game lore that expl uh, that talks about why why there's so many crashes or something. It looks like they tried to build like a warp gate here too. There's like a warp gate crash site or explosion or something. They built like a teleporter and that they had an oopsie on that too. May as well eat the space food. Actually, no. We should save the space food as a backup, and we'll only eat the beans. Now we get organized later. Let's go grab the booty. You just came to YouTube after buying this game, and of course I find Raptor playing it. Oh, good. Yeah, we played it a couple of days ago, too, and I played it a few other times during um, its, like, playtests and, and, and betas and stuff. Like, I don't have enough room. Oh, and that's not even facing that way. Okay. Let's go back to that crash site. I can't believe the stuff we found. Yeah, the lockers look thick, don't they? They got that big rear end. Nothing wrong with that. I wonder if there's something up there. That looks like we could walk up there. Or maybe not. Uh, we better not risk it. I don't want to fall down. Ooh. I know there's a yellow box in the Iridium cave we gotta go back to, too. Well, there's quite a few Iridium Caves in this game, but... Darth. Uh, Steam is showing your live stream on the Planet Crafter page. Yep, that was uh, part of our sponsored deal a couple of days ago. Th this stream here is not sponsored. I'm playing this game because it's, it's quite fun. But a couple of days ago, the developers did, they did pay me for that sponsored deal. And uh, they only paid me to play two hours of the game, and I ended up playing seven. So when you make a good game, oops. Ended up playing it for seven hours. Oh, it's so easy to find aluminum here, too. It's so shiny. Ooh. 
a lot of aluminum here. Gotta look around. You know, I wonder if there's a gold box on top of that crash site. Or maybe inside one of these pillars. is that solves the aluminum problem for a little bit. Oh, let's head back. I wonder what's up there. Oh, that leads to like the desert flats up there. I feel like there should be something down there. Love the music in the game, me too. It's very good music. Wow. Well, we may as well just bring all the aluminum back then. come back and grab all the other stuff. I think we we're full. <laughs> I've got two spaces. I will right, come back for the iridium and a couple other things. Extractors will give aluminum pretty regularly. Do you have to build an extractor where the aluminum is? We already have the extractor, so if I move it to like a different biome, does it give different materials? That's something I wasn't sure on. We're gonna go back to main base. Because I know when we, with the uh, extractor working, it shows like a little iron symbol at the bottom. So I'm assuming that's what it's going to extract primarily. But it's given us all sorts of things like cobalt and... Oh, it's not biome specific? Oh, that'd be cool if it was. It's like it always shows iron here. But I don't think I've ever gotten aluminum out of it. Wait, where was I putting aluminum? I didn't even have a box for it because we run out so frequently. <laughs> well, it might be time to make one for that. We'll uh, we'll just put it in there for now. All right, gotta go back again. Iron, silicon, cobalt, titanium. That's the most non-specific output. Well, I don't... I don't know. If I move it, will it change? I guess that's a good question. Let's, let's see. It makes sense because I think what... Because this shows iron here. And I, I wonder if that's like what, what's most common. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and move it and try.
Because remember, this is different than the previous versions now. This is a whole different game. New stuff in here, things have changed. Just like chat, you've changed. All right, let's see what it needs so I don't put away the wrong stuff. Okay. We do need that super alloy. It's different from the demo. The demo didn't have the icon. Okay. So, yeah, it must be a different material at each area. We need, we need one titanium. Magnesium. Silicon. Yeah, I left beans back at the other house, and there's water there, too. We'll go back this way. Uh, vehicles will come to the game in a future version, apparently, according to the, uh, the thingy. The uh, early access roadmap. we should drop into the iridium caves let's go place this extractor in the uh, aluminum fields and we'll go into the iridium caves you just saw this on sale you're curious about this the game's really cool think of subnautica meets astroneer meets um a lot of people are bringing up osiris new dawn and i've played that but i don't remember a thing about that so i can't really equate the two at the moment but But there is a lot more information on their Steam store page and also on uh, their web page. If you just go to like planetcrafter.com, they have a whole roadmap on like their future plans on like what to do with the game and stuff, and maybe when it'll be coming. But it's a small dev team, so they've done a lot of great work, considering that they're where's my beans. All right, let's go to the aluminum field. No Man's Sky? You think a little No Man's Sky? Maybe, yeah. I mean, if you like, if you like space games, this is definitely one. People were saying this is um, Subnautica, but in space. But in Subnautica, you're on a planet, and it's the same with this game. So. Alright, let's place the extractor here and see what happens. Ah, it does change. Confirmed. So the extractor is biome specific. So, I assume if we build one of those in the iridium caves, it'll probably pull out iridium for us as well. But, now the question is, where could we get uranium? Or maybe uranium is not natural to this planet, maybe. Because we haven't seen... Um, I don't think I've seen uranium naturally on the ground. We've seen sulfur and... Um, whatever those blue rocks are. Oscillium or whatever it was. Alright, let's bring back iridium now. And we need to find more uranium. There's a super alloy, too. Another one there. Bring the uranium. Alright, that'll do fine. Okay, so what we should do, too, is try to make another extractor for iridium, but we need more um, stuff out of the caves. 
the, the blue stuff. What is it called again? A, I think it's a psyllium or something. You can get uranium at a 7-Eleven. Okay, I don't think we've gone into that crash. Oh yeah, we've not gone there. We should go to that crash site. Huh, nothing here. Fill the box. Jeez, lots of titanium. Yo, Patrick, thanks for the 50 Swedish kroner. Hey, we have to use this to buy extra orf on me. Thank you, dude. I'm going to need all the ore I can get. Especially that aluminum. Hey, now we got the aluminum extractor going on, so that's great. Okay, let's drop off the basics. You know what? I'll drop everything. We're going to go find iridium. And let's go see if we can find a gold box. You love the rocket mechanic in this game? Yeah, it is pretty cool to build the rockets. We need iridium to make rocket engines, so they're very expensive. So if we could build an extractor here too, it'd be amazing. We need an iridium extractor. And I'm gonna need ice too. We need iridium and aluminum primarily. Which just also leaves uranium. Is there aluminum down here too? Plus well, just ice. Eh. We will need more ice. Hey Brian, thanks for the happy birthday wishes. Thank you. My birthday was awesome, so thank you, Chad. Nope. Eh, you know, I'll get the iron for another storage box. I do like how easy and simple it is to make little bases. Like you can just make like a little compartment, put a bunch of storage boxes in it and it doesn't really take much material. I think the simplest base that you can build requires like, it's like three or four iron, some silicon, and titanium, super common. Does the ore respawn? I, I don't think so. But at a certain point, you can build miners that extract it from the ground, so you can get all the resources you need, eventually. I mean, there, this game's got so many resources all around, it's ridiculous. The only thing is, is you just gotta go find them. And oftentimes, they're like in boxes and stuff too, so you can find whatever you need in a little box. Okay. Yeah, getting the oxygen upgrade is absolutely critical. Like, at the start, it's brutal. Like, you really can't go far at the very beginning of the game. But you can manage after a while. Alright, heading back in. Seems like the less... The, the two things you don't really need too much of, at least when you're building a, a basic base, is cobalt and magnesium are not, not as useful at the start, but eventually cobalt will go for uh, building uh, windows. You can make glass out of it, and then um, you can make a, a, like a nice windowed base that way.
I love that, how each of the biomes seem to have their own... Oh yeah, solar, yeah, anything glass, yeah. Once you get nuclear, though, you're you're okay. Well, you're okay, you're not good, you're, you're just okay. I think we've got two nuclear reactors running right now. Going for a third. Well, we need some more gold boxes. We gotta find some more gold boxes. I know there's one in this cave. It seems like every point of interest in the game has a golden box in it. Every crash site might have one. Every cave. I'll take that. Any plant light? Uh, we don't have plants yet, no. I haven't made any. But we can make a grass spreader, so we... It is possible we could do it. And that might actually increase the uh, oxygen output for us, so... We should definitely do that. Okay, I'm heading back to base. Don't want to get too greedy. Oh, looks like the cave goes deeper. In your demo playthrough, you had five reactors? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like to have a mix of power at the base. Like, going just pure nuclear is cool, but um, having a little mix of, like, nuclear and solar and wind, it just looks it just looks cool. But this is the type of game where you want to build all the things, you know? Let's make a little crafting table. Alright, let's make an oxygen tank. And water. Looks like we're getting hungry too, but... I think oxygen goes down the fastest, water seems to be the second fastest, and food is a little... a little slower than water. So chat, when we... When we get the GPS satellite, is there, like, there's a map in this game, but, like, can you only see the map if you go to a computer, or does is it, like, an on-screen mini-map? Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, it... It's an extra exit. The ice melted, and we can go out here now. Oh, God. What is this? This seems toxic. Is this Twitter? What the hell is this place? It's an on-screen mini-map? Okay. So that we wouldn't have been able to get to this uh, area unless that... Unless we melt Oh, what the hell is that? Bioplastic nugget? Oh! Bioplastic? That's a new material. And it's a nugget. Poglad. Oh, that looked like aluminum. I got scammed. What is this? It looks toxic. It doesn't look like dust. It looks like... Some sort of a toxic... Oh, it's sulfur. Oh, that's what it is. This area's got a lot of sulfur in it. So maybe there's some volcanic activity here. Oh, we could get Aus the, the Aussie. We can get the Aussie in here. Oh, yeah, baby. It's Osmium or whatever, but I'm just going to call it. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, this is perfect. This is a big find, boys. Now we can make another extractor, and now we can do iridium again. I wonder if that other cave is melted now, back up at the top. These ice caves are such a cool idea. Inventory full, no. 
takes priority. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have to come back. Yeah, we're coming back. This is too much stuff. Look for ladders in the wreck and climb them. Ooh, good tip. Thank you. I didn't know you could actually go up ladders and wrecks. I only knew about parks and wrecks. Now the question is... So this is like this... Okay, so if we wanted to mine sulfur, we could do it here. So if we need sulfur, we can come to this area, build a drill, and then we're good to go. Hey, Pat Moses, thanks for subbing. So this is Sub Subnautica on Mars. Um, it's a good way to put it, but this planet feels a little more... Yeah, it definitely feels Mars-inspired for sure. Yeah, but it feels a little different than that. I don't know if Mars has, like, a lot of caves and stuff. Wow. We got, we got too much stuff? I need to build another box. Actually... Let's make another, let's make a, an iridium rod. Let's go back to base. I'm gonna take all the iridium. No. I'm gonna go mine more iridium. Then we're gonna go back to base. Then we're gonna make iridium rods. Then we're gonna make more miners. Oh, but that means we need more power though. Because each one of these drills takes up 34 energy. We could probably make a couple of solar panels though. Those are cheap. Yeah, that's easy. We'll make a couple of solar panels, we'll come back and build an extractor. So if we build one here, it'll probably give us iridium. If we build it where the sulfur is, that'll give us sulfur, though I don't I'm not sure of the value of sulfur just yet. But um I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go back here. I'm gonna try to get the iridium uh the the osseum. The awesome. We're gonna go get the awesome. Yeah, tier two solar is a good uh, power source for now because now that we've got tons of aluminum, actually we could probably make a second. Dude, we could make a second drill over there because the um, all the other things needed to make a solar panel are super common. Like everything else is just like what is it, iron and. Cobalt and stuff, super cool, super common. What was the gold rock? Oh, the that shiny one. I think that was just the uh, ice that's melting. Oh, and more of it's gonna melt later on when it gets warmer. So this cave gets even bigger. Crazy. All right, we're going home. Okay. Yep. There's still a lot of aluminum here, I can see it. Yeah, this rock right here is just ice probably look gold like that. Yeah. No. Okay, we'll make it home just fine. Happy late birthday. Thank you very much, Marie. All right, let's bring home the iridium.
and the awesomeness. Have to come back for sulfur. Super alloy is going to have to wait. Wow, look at the amount of iridium we can make. Actually, I'm going to leave these. All right, well, we're going to have to do a little muling. Oh, that's fine. We'll take a couple of trips and get those. Yeah, we should make some rockets for sure. Now that we're getting a lot of iridium, and if we can make an iridium drill, we'll be good. So when we get back to the base, we'll um, we'll bring the iridium back and the aluminum back. We'll make some more um, solar panels. What is it, like a two to one? Yeah. We'll have to make like two solar panels for every one drill we want to make. Problem with the drills, though, is that we're still, we're gonna have to go and check the drills. I wonder if we put one in the Osseum cave if we'll actually get those. Uh, we could get the jetpack, yes. That's another thing we can make. Although I don't think we had the materials at the time. Let's take a look. Oh, well, that's a bad idea. Oops, my bad. <laughs> I always have that darn thing out. Oh boy. Hey, Artie with the uh, big O20. Good luck, I'll see you later. Thanks, man. Thanks for dropping in. Game's really cool. You know, I can't. This thing always just looks like a giant aquarium to me. Alright, so the rocket engine is one iridium rod and two uranium. To make the jetpack, we need two of those. And I, I don't know if we have enough uranium for that. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Well, let's start pumping out rods. We'll need to keep a little bit of iridium for some other recipes, but... Since we can build a, a drill, that'll be just fine. Good. Okay, so we should bring... Well, let's make a bunch of solar panels now. So do we have aluminum here? Ooh, we have more of this. Nice. I'm gonna make like eight of them. Sound good, chat? Does that sound good? Blue thumbs up. Oh yeah, beacons are very good, yeah. Luckily I've got most of this map memorized. It's not too complicated. Wait, is it two for this? A oh, one. So we need eight iron. Then we need, ooh, we're gonna need a lot of cobalt. So we're gonna have to come back. Move that later. I'll just grab the eight cobalt and oh, magnesium and silicon. I guess we could upgrade these tier ones. What does a tier one take? Ah, uh, the only difference between a tier one and a tier two is aluminum. 
So if you ever need to, just do an upgrade. Like, are these facing the right way? Nope. I think I want to build like six of these. Oh, it also takes silicon, yeah. But silicon's so common that I don't even Actually I think I think silicon's a little less common than um I don't think we have any water here. We gotta go find some ice. Well, there's some water. Boys, there it is, our first water. Yep, starting to fill up. Oh boy. Massive pog. This is it. It's filling up. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll see how uh, how high that water gets, and we might have to readjust the base. What the hell? Uh oh, all the drills are in the way. Oops. Well, we'll we'll see. That's a little bit of water. Oh boy. Made a microchip. Lock the tier five backpack? Oh, baby. What could possibly be in a tier five backpack? Three super alloys and titanium, that's all that takes? Wow. We're getting that upgrade right away. Uh, water's starting to appear because we're creating an atmosphere. Uh, we're creating heat from our base. Structures in our base are creating heat, and um, we're also creating uh, pressure from these drills that are releasing gases from underneath the planet's surface. Okay, let's get back to making uh, solar panels. Wow, tier 5 backpack. Awesome.
bum, bum. Okay. Well, that's a lot more power. Let's take a look. 48. So that's enough to make two drills, right? Nope. 34 is what they need. I want to make two drills. more quote-unquote ice. What do we need more of? Magnesium. There goes the water, baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we could put in a solar array up here. Or we could upgrade these guys. Hopefully there's like a tier 3 uh, solar panel that they added. Okay, so that should be plus like 70 something? 74. Should add another platform there. Yeah, we could build uh, solar panels on the building roofs. I think what I'm going to do is build the buildings up eventually, so I, I haven't been putting anything on top because I'm thinking that I'm going to eventually build them higher. Like, for example, for these, for these rooms with the heaters, which we're definitely going to add more, um... I just need more iridium. But anyway, we're going to add like... Uh, what I'll probably do is get rid of the uh, things in the middle. Build a ladder here and then just build one right on top. Save space. Building vertically is really cool. Alright, so let's build over here. Well, hopefully we have enough iron now to where we can actually make this look good. Or it looks realistic. I wonder how we're going to get around the water now if we have to go through that to get to the other side. Does the game have controller support? I believe it does. I think so. I'm not sure, but I thought I saw something that confirmed that. Um, check the Steam store page. It should say if it has full or partial um, controller support on the right side. I haven't used the controller yet, so. Love the base. Hey, thanks, Jessica. Yeah, you're going to love this game, Jessica. It's, it's really nice to make everything neat and tidy and organized. and Sometimes that's hard to do as you're constantly upgrading your base. I love the look of the solar panels, though. I would... The, the trouble with the nuclear power is it has to be outside, so there's our nuclear power right there. And it could just be as simple as, like, sitting, uh, you know, sitting on a platform. So you can't really build, like, a cool building for it. If I build here... In controls below keyboard, I saw a controller. Oh, gamepad. Yep, right there. Yep, you're right. Yep, confirmed. Thank you very much, Greg. 
Eagle Eye Greg over here with the uh, with the big win. Uh, this is not the full version, and this is not the demo. This is the early access version of the game that just came out to Dan Steam. I think we should just extend our solar panels over this way. Or we could build another array over here. <gasps> Good idea. Well, darn. We'll squeeze in a couple more solar panels here. Oh, and the great thing about solar panels is they're so small that you can like, if you need a little extra power, you're, you're good. The game is on Steam, yes. Yes, indeed. Not to mention, solar panels make your base easy to find. You can see those solar panels from a million miles away. Alright, so power... You know, I should put a power production screen in here, too. And let's move this in. I should put a status screen in here. Don't have to keep running up to the command center. Well, now that we're getting water, I want to put a grass maker down, but... I don't want to, like, make grass where there's going to be water. It might look weird. Maybe it'll just look like algae. I don't know who Al is, but... Gee, I wish I did. Atmospheric Water Collector. We should build one of those. Because then I don't have to worry about getting water. Yeah. This looks like it goes on the ground. Yes. Or on a platform. Let me get a bunch more iron. Hey, Tan. Thanks for dropping in. And we had all that iron and it just disappears. It vanishes. Man, the nice thing about the upgraded backpack that it makes it so much easier to move around your base without having to make constant boxes to store things. Looks like this should be a, at least a 2x2. Two Well, hopefully this water thing will make it so that way we don't have to keep getting ice all the time. We're starting to make our own food. It's early access, so, you know. Okay, cool. So this thing will continuously make water for us. Hopefully. I think it'll also work better when it rains. How much power did that thing take? 11? Oh, that's nothing. Well, let's put a power status screen in here. Oh, it has to go on a desk? Oh. oh 
But it'd be nice if there was another option for that screen. Like either the desk version or the... So I'll just put it there for now. 121. Alright, so minus the 234s. That we want to build. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's go build these drills. So... Nope. We definitely need Iridium. Distant World 2 is on the channel. Make sure you check it out. Yep. Bow show. Alright, so we need two titanium. Uh, let's see. Two titanium, two aluminum for awesomeness. You know, maybe I should bring a third just in case we find and want to make one more. Good idea. Yeah, wow, such organized indeed. We have a bunch of this out in the field. So I will bring just two. Did three super alloy. And one, two, three aluminum. So it should be three, 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 four. But that will get more out in the field. What's up, Richard Davis? How you doing? Too bad there's not like an auto harvester for the um for things. Um let's see. Yeah, we'll build the jetpack when we get back. Right now we're focusing on mining. Okay, that thing makes a lot of water quickly. Oh, ho! this whole place is going to be water? Oh man, when we get back, those are going to be flooded. I think the water is going to fill up to the top of these rocks. But I think anything below this level, it might get flooded. That capsule is definitely, that thing's definitely leaving. You know, I've never looked at this rock formation up here. We've got water. I can't believe it. Will they work underwater? Um, I'm not sure, but I think if they do or not, I still want them like above water. Okay, let's go check on the aluminum mine, too, to see how much that drilled out. Heck, we could even build a second one. Lots of water here. Check on the aluminum mine. I guess what we could always do is add a, a second aluminum mine over here. That actually is a good idea. Like, if you're going to be in an area, if you have a secondary base, just build two mines while you're there, and you'll mine double fast, and then you can just pack it up and leave. I 
I love how easy it is to, to move in this game. To go from one area to another. Watch out for spider bears. How dare you, chat? How dare you? Wow. Well, we're going to have to build a temporary base here for sure. All right, we're going to have to build a storage thing here. There's no doubt about it. Let's build another drill. Honestly, aluminum is so necessary that we should we should just definitely build a second one. Actually, as for iridium, uh, as for the awesomeum and the uh, iridium, we do have a. Um, there's another cave that we found that we didn't fully explore. Actually, I think there's two caves where we can find more of that stuff. We we got plenty of that stuff, plenty. I just got to go to that base over there. But I'd like to build two on each resource. Alright, how do we build a base? Two iron, titanium, silicon we need. And bring a little extra iron for storage. Now that we got access to this stuff, it, it's really going to ramp it up. I hope we can mine more of that stuff in that cave we found. That makes the sand falls incredibly important. Not to mention we can also get sulfur, but I'm not sure the value of that yet. What's up, T-Lutes? Good to see you in the chat. Welcome. Yes, there is a recycler and there is a shredder. Uh-oh. Yep, we found the big canyon the last time we played, yep. Our base has come quite a long way. Nice. Well, this I thought this was going to be temporary, but aluminum is... It's so cool how there's like an area for each resource. I love it. Okay. Last time we brought back a ton of iridium. Wow, this thing mines quickly. It would be nice if we could tell these things to... Um, throw away materials we didn't want, like, you know, only gather aluminum, so that way when you come here it's like full of aluminum. That'd be nice. How are we doing on power? 87. Okay, we can do one in the iridium mines. in the Osseum mines. The Osseum mum mum. Yeah, my previous live streams on their store page, yep. Oh, 
Oh, we still got to go in that wreck over there, too. Oh, man. There's so much to do, dude. Oh, I need aluminum for the drill. Oops. Well, there's aluminum in this cave, so we might be all right. Or I left some here. Yep. Oh, there's a lot of that stuff. Yeah, I only have one more iridium. No, two more. We'll put one here and see what it does. Yep, iridium. All right, we need to make a storage base out uh, out away from here. I should bring a bunch of iron. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, we're going to make a uh, a storage base in the other caves just outside. Yeah, so much to do. Yeah, and it's, this game doesn't feel tedious. It feels like I want to do it, not that I don't want to. Like, I just want... Sometimes in games, it's like I just want to build the structure and not get the materials. But in this one, now that we have access to these extractors, the only problem is we have to go back to the extractors and pick up stuff from them. Which isn't that big of a deal, because while we're exploring, we could probably find more... Oh, it's raining. Wow. So let's go to the caves. Where are they? Right here. Game's amazing, man. Titanium. It's raining in Florida right now on your vacation. Dude, the sounds of rain on this planet are just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I need another titanium. I wonder if the... Well, actually, we got to make two mines here, don't we? we got to make one for the sulfur and one for the awesome. Uh, let's see. Here. Oh, just iron, damn. So we can't extract this stuff. Maybe we can. When the planet gets warmer, that will open up. But maybe we can mine sulfur then. 
Let me try again though, just to see. Yeah, no, just iron. Okay, so we can't mine that stuff. Sad face emote. Yeah, the awesome mine is where you make awesome sauce, yeah. Ah, but we can get sulfur, so that's good. Alright, so it does work for sulfur, good. Well, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab everything in the valley. We might need this stuff. How much does the game cost? Uh, that is a good question. I didn't see the price when I looked last time in the store page. Chat? Anybody know? This place is huge. This, does this go out to where that wreck is? Holy crap. Oh, dude. Those are all, like, waterfalls of sand, bro. Ooh, another nugget. I wonder if, if we get enough water, if this will actually become a lake. Oh my god. That's amazing. Wow. That's just a, <laughs> so cool. Seventeen ninety nine USD. Yeah, for an incomplete game, I'd say twenty bucks would be fair. Well, actually, it's probably one of those things where since it's new in the store, you know, it's on discount. I don't know, man. I've had a lot of fun with this game. I, if you like, you know, space games, this is like a must-have. No Man's Sky, Star Citizen, Subnautica. Mining, base building games, for sure. Oh, inventory full. Oh, good question. Is there a water... Is there a, uh, something behind the sand falls? Good question. Well, you know how it works. It's got to be a waterfall. Joker Gaming, please don't do that. Alright, let's see. I feel like we should bring some sulfur back to base. And I don't know what these bioplastic nuggets are. I, I'm assuming we can make that at some point. And it'll probably take... Well, obviously we'll have to grow something to get it. We should just take all these things back. Yeah, are we in Canada now? Is this Niagara Falls? Alright, we'll come back later. Alright, well, I think we're going back to base again. breath before we leave. So it looks like no matter what in the game, when you start building these mines, you're going to have to continuously walk around to go back to them. So you're going to have a... Um, you're going to have a sulfur mine, an iridium mine, an aluminum mine,
can you terraform in the game? Uh, not much as of yet. Like you can't, you can't dig or anything like that. But I guess technically we are terraforming though, because like we're adding trees and stuff. Like we're, I get, you know, we're we're like changing the environment of the world by adding pressure and heat and other things. Oh boy, we are getting so much stuff, dude. Uh, the sulfur seems to be used to make some sort of explosive po uh, powder. It could be used for rocket fuel or something, maybe. Uh, we need to go back to base, bro. We're just we're we're becoming a long haul trucker now. You were about to buy, and then you saw me streaming. Well, if you go to the if you go to the Steam store page, apparently I'm also live on there with a whole different stream. Uranium we need. Okay, we gotta find if there's a place for uranium too. Oh, we gotta go into the wreck. Oh my god, dude, there's so much. Yeah, bio bio uh, the grass spreader will increase biomass. Yeah, and we need that for the. Oh, there's there's just so much to do. I love this game. Have we gotten to rockets yet? Uh, yes, we have them unlocked. We just need to make them now. Which is going to take more iridium. Which is why I came here to build that iridium mine. That thingy. And I want to make more of these extractors. And I think we have enough to make them. Yeah, we can make one more iridium mine for now. I guess that's one thing we can keep doing. Is... You could always have, like, an extra mine available, and then if you needed more of a resource, you could just switch it, you know. Like, you could have two mining aluminum, and then when you got enough alu aluminum, you take one away and then put it to where you need the next resource. There's water, boys. It's working. Every time it rains. I hope they don't make a... You know what I'd really like in this in this game? is not necessarily like a vehicle to drive around, but like... Maybe something to f fly... Not like the jetpack to fly, but like... Like, Satisfactory has trains. I don't know, I want... I, want, I don't want a teleporter, but I want some sort of a vehicle that I can drive, but not a car. I'm being very picky now, but... Uh, let's drop something real quick. We'll come back and empty that thing out because it is full of water. Well, you know how Satisfactory has that little, um... There's like that car you can program in Satisfactory where you can set it on a route and it'll deliver materials back and forth. It'd be cool if there was something to go out and automatically get your materials and bring it back to your main base. Although I feel like this is the type of game where you don't want to have just one main base. And I've got a lot of little bases, but I wish they were more developed. But, you know, since I got to truck stuff back and forth, I'm the only one who uh, is doing that. There's nothing else ha helping me. But I guess that's why we got the Tier 5 backpack now. It's helping out immensely to bring materials back. Yeah, I don't know where to put... Well, sulfur is not so rare anymore, is it? At this point, I think I'm going to end up making like a, a massive storage warehouse. I might even make a second floor to this and put it up on top. Where we have two stories of just storage. Ooh, the game needs hoverboards. That'd be cool, like an uh, Astroneer. How we doing? Oh boy, terraforming stage lakes, 7%, oh boy. Oh, now we're down to 20, 20 kilowatt hours. Oh, that's not enough to make another drill, so we need more solar panels. Maybe we could make a platform up here. Yeah, it'd be really cool to have transport drones, and then you could have like a some sort of a distribution hub. 
Although I don't, I don't think I want to see conveyor belts or anything like that. I feel like we see that in enough games. Because this game's not really necessary about, it's not necessarily about production. You know, it's not like we're making tons and tons and tons of materials endlessly. Although we are. But it's not about exporting them, it's more about... You know, there's like emails that you get in the game that tell you like, hey, everything you do needs to go towards terraforming the planet. Which is... Ex it's exactly why the solar system has such great parties. You know, because they plan it. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Alright, I think we're gonna make a big old solar array here. Oh, but I can't build any closer, can I? Okay, let's make upgraded solar panels and more storage. Can you die in the game now? Yep, you can die. If you run out of food, water, or oxygen, you'll die. Also, there's fall damage. I mean, there's fall, uh... Damage! Yeah. Alright, I think we gotta reorganize storage. Okay, let's go ahead and put one here. you lose what you're carrying yeah there's so there's different difficulty levels to the game there's like the Iron Man mode where if you if you die that's it game over and then you restart and your files deleted and then there's like there's normal mode which is like when you die and we're on no, normal mode right now where if you die you'll drop all your stuff and it'll drop into like a little box and then you can go pick it up and it, it'll I think it'll last forever you just swing by and pick it up whenever which, because this is an early access game, I feel like it's a good, probably a good idea to play in the normal mode because since it's not finished, everything's not perfectly balanced yet. And early access is a great way for the devs to get feedback on whether things are too easy or too hard for those modes. You know, for the crazy people who want to play on like, I like dying, Smiley. Seems like you can fit two up against every wall here. I don't think I could fit one there, though. We could, but I don't like the overlap. Oh yeah, there's a chill mode, too, where you don't die and you just explore. I think it's called IGN Reporter Mode. Okay, uh, let's see. Iron. Alright, let's do two iron here because we always seem to have that. Or at least there's tons of it. And ice is not really ice anymore. But I'll just keep it like that. At this point, I think we should build a, a second f story to this place. Because we're going to have a bunch of biomaterials, so... Or we could make a whole nother warehouse, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, the box is full. There we go. What is that thing? Oh, flower pot. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we'll do sulfur here. that all of it. 
Now this is just bulk storage. Yeah, I need another storage for, uh... Okay, we need solar panels. Yeah, you know what I'm just gonna do? We're just gonna do misc in here. Just so I can move materials around. I guess that's a good box for when we don't really have a lot of something, but we need to keep it. Including super alloy. Oh, can we make a uranium uh, rod yet? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Good, perfect. Let's make another nuclear reactor. And then we should also make we're going to save our uranium for other things now. I think one of these... Yeah, the rocket engines require uranium, so we're going to start saving that now. I know we have more uranium around. We just got to go get it. All right, reactor three. Two waters and three super alloys. Hey, what's up, Niawa? How you doing? Food and water? Yeah, that's, that's going to be a constant in this game. And two things of water. I feel like we should move the nuclear reactors somewhere. I guess we could put them up here. That might be a good spot. What happens when you build your base on the uh, on a cliff? So hopefully we'll have like plus a hundred or something. Yeah, one hundred six. Nice. All right, let's grab some water and a snack. Hey, what's up, Zane? Good to see you as well. Hey, everybody. Hope you're all enjoying the Big O stream. Thanks again for all the birthday wishes and everything. Good to have you all here. Feel welcome to uh, ask questions or say hi in the chat. You're all welcome here, even if you're new, so don't be afraid to say hi to our community. You're now one of us. One of us. Good. Hi from Borneo. Hey, what's up? Welcome. I want to... Make sure we don't have any more of this. All right, so now we need more iridium. I want to keep making more drills. Beans, oh boy. That water's rising. Well, that's going to be a GG rip on uh, on the miners soon enough. We'll probably move the uh, pressure miner somewhere else. Also, 
as we as we're placing more and more of those extractors the extractors are also producing heat and pressure so I guess as we're focusing on our mining we're also increasing the terraformation index you know what I would like in the upper right corner is the ability to see without a screen what our current like index per second is or whatever like are we plus 500 per second or you know all right, I think we got to go to this craft site. We haven't been there. Maybe we should take a few materials and go check on that. Oh, more uranium. Good. Oh, more osseum. I need another rod, though. Oh, the mushrooms help to make bioplastic? Cool. Then we'll keep those mushroom seeds. Let's see. Nuclear reactor tier 2 was just unlocked. What? There's a tier 2? Oh, that takes explosive powder. Check that out. Three water bottle super alloy. Oh man. And that creates 331. Oh my god. How do we make the explosive powder? That must be in the. Uh... Oh, we're gonna have to find out how to make that. We will find that out. That is that is Pog Lad. Wow, 300 power? That's insane. That's insane. Oh, we do want to make a base out there. How's the planet crafting going today? Dude, we're making so much progress. We're unlocking so much stuff. You know what's cool about this game too is it becomes exponentially more easier to make things. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is like a a fine sand. Sparkly sands. Wow. Shiny. Shiny and chrome. Is that aluminum? No. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, that's a pretty big debris field. Okay, well, let's go find out what happened here. Oh, it crashed. Okay, we can go home. Kidding. That's a big O engine. And there it goes. Oh, 
fertilizer and lots of iron. Alright, we're gonna get lost. Let's go back down. Alright, interesting. That's gonna be... That's gonna be an interesting one to clean out. Any food? That's likely we could find some food in there. Got to be another gold box here somewhere, too. Look at all the engines on this thing. What the hell? What's weird is it's like this is the bridge, right? But all the engines are in the front but facing reverse? So the bridge is in the back of the ship? more uranium ah, and super alloys and we got some food have a little snack There's a lot of um, plants and stuff on this thing, yeah. So it looks like several times before they tried to terraform the planet. They tried to bring, bring big O ships and other ships crashed here. Looks like they didn't make it. Oh, gold plants. Holy crap. We gotta get out of here. Okay, so now we gotta go to the, um, thing in the back. A science ship? Maybe. So the Tusca seeds make a 400% uh, plant. The Nulna seeds, okay. Yeah, it looks like they were trying to bring plants to the planet. Like they were growing them here. Not here, but they were growing them and then trying to bring them here. Keep keeping them alive in route. And or maybe it was a life support system for this ship too, where they would have plenty of uh, plants on board. Thank you. 
More fertilizer, nice. Deconstruct Rex. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Was that hidden? Oh, it's like a hidden wall with a uranium rod in it. What? Are there hidden walls in these ships? Oh, I can't even pick up all that stuff. We're already full again. Wow, good idea to walk around with the deconstructor out just in case there's like a false wall somewhere. I didn't know that was there. I thought I was trying to deconstruct like one of the one of these things, like a computer console. Alright, that was cool. Now I want to go through every ship and walk around with the uh, deconstructor out and see if there's like a false wall. Ooh, that's cool. I wonder if there's a golden box up there. Looks like there's a tower there too. Let's make another box. Well, great. Lots lots of plants and lots of um, fertilizer and bio stuff here. I want to get up there. Maybe this is the bridge. I don't think we can build on this to like make a ladder to get up there. There's more over there? That leads back to the sand falls, I think. Huh. Well, we need uranium and iridium. Take these and make a blueprint scanner. Jetpack tier two. And Agility Boots Tier 3. Uh, well that thing looks like it's buried in sand, I don't... I don't think we can get in there. If anything, we're gonna come back though, because this area also has a lot of, um... There's like a crack in that, but I think that leads to the waterfalls, sand falls, maybe. Oh. Oh, good call, chat. More materials. Way too much for us to carry. But no way in, though. Well, now that we've unlocked a higher tier of, um,. Jetpack. Maybe we should make that. I think we need more uranium for that, though. Now let's just head back. Alright, back to base again. Then we'll make the jetpacks, because now we're starting to go real far. probably get rid of the old reactors and just build like two tier two reactors or yeah tier two yeah 
Current reactors are making 80 something, 86 or something. Wow, look at all the rods. Jeez, man. Oh, there's another microchip. Here for mining speed. Nice. Yeah, we can make a bigger base. This is just not our main base. This is just a little outpost to store stuff. Definitely going to come back for the fertilizer, but yeah, we're coming back for sure. Okay, we are fully loaded. You can make your base as large as you want, you just need the materials for it. I see that. That's the warp drive one, I think. We don't want to go that way. Is that another cave? Oh, that just leads into the sand, sand falls. Yeah, some biomes seem to make it nighttime just for like immersion or something like that. Like when you go into the where the aluminum is, it makes it nighttime. Now wait a minute, let me check real quick to see what we got for uranium. Okay. I'll leave a fabric and take a uranium. Oh, also the agility boots in increase our movement speed, and I think we have tier one. Oh, tier two. So we just need to make explosive powder, and we can get a plus 45. Uh, there is a map in the game. You just you need to make a uh, GPS satellite before you can get a map. So right now we have the ability to make them. We just need the materials, which is what we're kind of doing now. Is there any new things on the full game now that it's out? The game is out in early access, so it's not the not the full game. Down in the right corner, it says early access. But there does seem to be a lot of new things to build and maybe new places to go. And things are rebalanced and changed around too, so materials and things are easier to obtain. All right, let's offload. Um, so we got iridium. And uranium. 
aluminum. And then... Yeah, we were short on super alloys. Okay, let's see. So we can make... Jetpack tier 2 requires super alloy and aluminum. So we can make the tier 1. So 4 uranium. You're a survivor from a crash? Kind of, yeah. Yes, the game has automated mining equipment and such. We have some of that going now. Where were we? Oh yes, two iridium rods. And two... And that's gonna take titanium. All right, now we have a jetpack. We're going to need to make a lot of these rocket engines, too, for sending rockets into space, so we need more of this stuff. Luckily, we have a way to get iridium. A lot of it. Now I need to upgrade my exoskeleton. I need tier two. Exoskeleton tier 2 requires titanium, silicon, magnesium, aluminum. Jetpack is unlimited fuel? Nice. Alright, that's cool. Very cool. Now we just gotta upgrade it. Alright, so according to chat, we should save mushrooms. Good idea. Mushroom, mushroom. Tier 4 jetpack? Uh, we have a tier 2 at the moment. The only thing we don't have is awesomeum, but we could probably go up to the top. There might be a, um, that ice cave at the top may have opened. Let's go take that, uh, look at that. Dude, jetpack's really cool. The tier 1 is nice. The tier 2 is probably going to be better. Or faster, I should say. So that's going to decrease our uh, transit time as well. Let's see if this cave opened up. There's, there's some right there. Heat needs to be at 500 UK. Where are we at now with heat? 
I think we've only got Michael Madsen so far, but we don't have Robert De Niro. We're gonna need a lot more heat. Alright, power is 106. Heat is at 189. Heat's actually not that bad. Oh, that, that's at 5? Oh, it's gonna take a while. That's a while to go. Oxygen's not a problem. 10% on the lakes. So that lake is 10% full. Oh, the base is flooded. Well, then again, there's a lot of surface area to fill there. We'll see. Okay, um... Oh, there, oh you can make a sign with magnesium now. Cool. Oh, and there's also the tier 2 light. What does that look like? Magnesium cobalt. Lamp that can be placed anywhere. Um, this is about as high as I can go with the jetpack. But I'm missing a valuable material. We need the awesomeum. Which is fine. Alright, let's go pick up some more stuff. We gotta, we gotta make another supply run anyway. I gotta go empty the aluminum mines. Oh wow, this area is filling with water too? Oh boy. Build more heaters. Every time we build a mine, it counts as a heater. Dude, look at how fast we can travel now. This is great. This is definitely something we should have built earlier. Then again, if we would have built this earlier, we wouldn't have the mining equipment. So I guess now this gives us a place to go to. Alright, now that we can tra travel faster, I'm just going to bring back all the valuables. that. Two iridium. Fabric. I guess this is why the game also has like a shredder and a recycler, so that way there there is a there is like a a thing that destroys objects permanently. So I guess that's a good idea to get rid of all the like. Let's just say you don't you you just don't need any more iron. You just simply have just enough of it. And that's a good way to get rid of it. Start bringing the mo more valuable stuff. Guess we'll bring more sulfur and aluminum. Okay. Now we're gonna upgrade to the tier two backpack and see how that goes. Jetpack. Is there a different levels for storage? Yeah. The things I just opened are like the tier 2 storage cabinet, and the blue boxes on the ground are the tier 1. And the tier 2 are like three times as effective for like the same space, except they're they're a little taller. They're like three times as tall, but verticality is not a problem. Am I going to do another 7 hour stream? I mean, to be honest, this game is super good, so we're, it's probably going to happen. We'll all look over and realize it's been like four hours in any minute. Who knows? Wow, lots of aluminum. And lots of iridium. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Nope. Okay, tier two upgrade costs one sulfur, awesomeness, and aluminum.
Wait, is that everything? Yep. Gear 2 unlocked. Uh, is the game multiplayer? Um, not at the moment, but they may have some more information about that on their site. Wow. That's fast. Oh, this is great. Tier 3 storage? I, I don't see any unlocked yet. It's under furniture. I'm just going to put water in here because it does have to do with plants. Overflow. Alright, let's build that tier 3 nuclear reactor. Let's see what that takes. Or tier 2. Oh, we need explosive powder. I don't know if I can make that yet. Can I make that at the thing? How do we make explosive powder? Craft station tier two, advanced craft station. I don't know if I can make explosive powder just yet. In the bio lab? Let's see. You mean this thing? Bio lab unlocks at six or eight sixty five G. Biomass is at zero. Oh, okay, so we gotta start making grass and stuff now. Okay. So that's another tier to worry about. Okay, let's make the grass spreader then and finally start that job. Grows grass outside, generates biomass. Water bottles, magnesium, aluminum, and seeds. Wait, how much does that take for power? 13. Also generates oxygen. Let's make three of them. Magnesium. And Lerma seeds. Now we make three. You can start making biomass from algae when you get water. Oh, good. Uh, let's put grass. want one for your lawn? Yeah, that would certainly save on grass seed every year, wouldn't it? Oh, let's put grass on this hill. Oh, it'll, it shows exactly where it generates grass. Oh. Alright, we'll make uh, a grass hill here. here. Oh, we need another water. Yeah, the lake's going to get a lot bigger. If, if and when it does, we will um, move some of the stuff. We need two water. Hmm. Let's 
go find ice in the water. There might be some. Your base in the demo filled up with water? Yeah. Yeah, that might happen. Luckily, we're in a spacesuit, so we're fine. It would be nice if your base could be waterproof, and then you could, like... You could build your base in the center of the water, no knowing that eventually it'll, like, be covered in water. Uh, we... Ha yeah, that, that machine is a, um... It gathers water from the atmosphere. Yeah, it looks like the gr a lot of the ground ice has melted. So it might come down to the hydration machine. Hey, we got our first plant life. There's the grass. Awesome. So we need 800 biomass in order to unlock the bio thingy. What is what's it called? Bio research center or something? When the planet finishes terraforming, do you go to another planet? Well, this game is not finished, so it's it doesn't have an end yet, so who knows? Maybe. Maybe eventually they'll allow you to do that. Uh oh accidentally deleted the platform. My bad. Oh, so we're at 63. Oh, that's not going to take too long. It'll be a while, but... Aeromex, thanks for the Raptor Plus membership. Welcome aboard, dude. Thank you very much for your support. So we can make a bio lab. Oh, you're right. Algae generator, biomass rockets. Oh, does... Oh, wow. So that's going to spread... Like, it'll explode over the planet and spread seed everywhere, probably. Awesome. Increases moss spread. Gives a global generation bonus by spreading bacteria from outer space. Dude, that's cool. Then eventually we can make trees. Oh, baby. That's cool. Can we, oh, can we put flower maker? Well, it looks like there was a separate flower maker. I don't know if we can put flowers in the grass maker. We'll see. Yeah, thanks again, Aeromax, for the big O membership. Welcome. Yeah, that's true. Grass will also increase the um, oxygen. Uh, let's check for water. I thought I deleted a platform under here, but I guess not. Yeah, we'll make the the flower maker as soon as we can. It unlocks at um, five hundred. Or whatever that number may be. Oh, you can make a tier two biodome? Awesome. We'll get to that eventually. Nova, thanks for the five.
Beautiful. <coughs> so we're gonna have a beautiful, uh... Oh, look at that. A beautiful cliffside with grass on it. There comes the water. Okay, I think we should go pick up more supply from the other bases. We need, um... Okay, so if we're going to make the upgraded nuclear reactor, we need to do more stuff with the biodome. That's going now. So now we're doing plant life. We got more aluminum than what we know what to do with now. For a while, anyway. So we'll shut down the aluminum mines and go double, double uranium now? Or du double iridium. Can we put flowers in the grass sprayer? Well, there's a separate flower maker, so I don't think so. We'll check. I'll take a little peek. Now we'll just put aluminum in here for overflow. And then we'll go pick up stuff. Alright, we're a space trucker. Amen, brother. Now we're long hauling things back and forth. Uh, it doesn't look like we can put anything. Yeah, it doesn't let me click on it, so. But there's a specific flower spreader, so we have to unlock that, I guess. We'll get there soon. So just basic stuff here. Oh, more water. Actually, I'll just leave those here and get them later. So if we need a water, we'll come back to that one. All right, I'm going to go pick up the other aluminum mine and bring it over here so we can get more iridium. Have I ever played Stellaris? Um, I think I have maybe once or twice. But I'm not sure if I put a video up on the channel about it. I honestly don't even need aluminum anymore. I could just take these basic materials back because we need some of the basic stuff. Alright, LG Generator Tier 1 unlocked. Alright, we're shutting down the... Uh the aluminum mines for now. Oh, I will need aluminum though. Make these again. Alright, we're going to the iridium mines now. We're going to triple production of iridium. The aluminum is kind of easy to get now. What's up, Toad Man? How you doing? Do 
DLCs and mods makes Dolores more fun. That's true. The more things there are to do, the more fun you will have. Nice. Now we got triple triple iridium mines. Beautiful. All right, we'll come back later and check on that. Yeah, aluminum used to... Like, the only way you used to find aluminum was by, um... Oh, man, there's so much stuff here. Uh, aluminum was mostly found in, like, boxes and stuff. All right, we need a general material refill, so we're going to go back to base with this stuff. Now I wish we would have built our base over here. It's kind of, um, kind of hard to build your base in the beginning because your oxygen is so limited. Remember when going from here to, like, here was just, like, a death sentence? Like, we almost used half of our oxygen just to get here. Those were the days. All right, cobalt seems to also organize things in alphabetical order. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to have to make some more iridium rods. LG generators help a lot. Okay, let's make some of those. Let's see what the recipe is for that one. Uh, let's see. Grows underwater algae, generates biomass. Place on water surface. If I place that now, though, aren't those just going to get flooded? Or do they float? We do have two bioplastic nuggets, and we just need two eggplants then. So let's actually make a couple eggplants. We're gonna grow some eggplants now. They float? Okay, cool. Alright, so we need eggplants then before those are done. With fertilizer? Oh I don't I don't know what the fertilizer will be for. I'll have to see. Okay, uh let's do another Let's do another material run. I think we should make the base bigger now. No, we need more power. If I build any more heaters or anything else, we're going to need a lot of power. So we should f focus on the biomass stuff. Yeah. So we could make more biomass spreaders, but it seems like the water one is the best. Yeah, anything that goes underwater will stop working, so we'll have to be cautious about that. We should make some more food growers, then. Yeah. Let's make some more food growers. And yeah, we'll leave these here for emergencies. Okay, let's bring back all plant matter now. Except we'll leave the beans for emergencies... Bring the ice for water. And we really can't have enough iron. Seems like you can never have enough iron or storage for it. Drill level 3 are good for heat and don't take too much energy. 
Eat 0.25. Eat 28.5. Um, and the, um, the extractor, though, creates 17 heat and 15 pressure. So I think we should keep building those. You think watching the stream is better than watching 10 let Let's Plays? Yeah, I mean, essentially these streams are long, but yeah, at least you don't have to wait for episode 714 to come out. That used to be the only thing you could do on um, YouTube. The only thing you could watch is, uh, you know, a 400-part Minecraft series just to see, like, a big castle be built. Part 437. Alright, so our next goal is to make more food growers so we can make more eggplants. I guess I'll put aluminum overflow into the miscellaneous. Okay, we actually might need ice. I'm going to keep some of that. Cobalt, silicon, titanium, magnesium. I put the um there it is yo Tony thanks for the three months of a Raptor ultimate membership happy belated birthday well thank you appreciate the uh, the support put those in there all right so each of these makes like what 86 we're making less than 200 power. One upgraded, one will get us more. Eggplants are halfway done. Okay, we need to grow more of these. How am I? I'm doing well. How are you? Okay, aluminum and iron. Let's make four. Tristan, you're starting a new job today. Good luck to you, bro. Let's get some Lego heart walls in the chat. For a new day of a new job. Congrats. Hope it's good. Are we able to make a huge nuclear power plant? Yeah, we could do that. It seems like the nuclear power has to be built outside, so it would basically just be a flat floor with a bunch of uh, nuclear reactors on top of it. But maybe the tier two could be built inside. Or short on water. Hey, it's raining. Good. I hope that increases the amount of water that we can make. Build more tier ones? Uh, I'm going to wait for tier two. I mean, we got plenty of power. It's just I want to build the tier two reactors now. Well, never mind. Now we got five power. Anyway, we'll wait to upgrade. Wait, that takes, two, oh, three uranium rods. Well, we do have, we will have three when we make the, when we, um, we will have three when we make the, um, when we downgrade the other ones or delete them. Uh, we're unlocking the bio lab now. Yeah, we're working on that.
Mike Overgaard says, what's up, Raptor? Thanks for being awesome. You too, dude. Keeping me company while writing quotes for work. Oh, man. Well, hey, that's my job is to keep you guys company and show you new games. And honestly, one of the nicest things about streams and things like this is that for those of you who don't have time or don't have money or aren't sure if you want to get a game, you can always watch somebody else do it while you're... Like, it's awesome. I use three monitors for what I do. And honestly, when I'm done live streaming, I, I watch somebody else stream on one monitor, I do my stuff on another monitor, and I do other stuff on a, on a, this, the third monitor. So it's like you just having something else going in the background just keeps you motivated. It's great. Kind of weird how like a distraction actually is a motivator. But hey, one in, one in chat, if you guys listen to music at work... Or one in the chat if you've always got tunes going in the car. Maybe maybe you drive mostly for work all day. Doing deliveries or meeting with other clients. Some jobs you can't do that. Like, you know, a doctor, I suppose, or an attorney. you got to kind of be focused all day and you're always talking to people. But if you're doing data entry like I've done or... I've done a lot of data entry jobs and a lot of, a lot of Excel. So I know all about that. Boy, oh boy, is it fun to do automation in Excel and all that stuff. Always cool to come up with uh, formulas and work on cells and things like that. Always cool. All right. Biolab unlocks at 865, so we're almost there. So that's a new building for us to build. So we're going to have to find out where to put that. I think what we'll do is we could... We'll uh, move this further up that way and then we'll build the bio lab right here because it'll be next to the yeah we'll just build it right here you're watching while playing I love that I love when you guys are playing a game and you watch me too that way you guys you, you mostly learn what not to do <laughs> it makes your gameplay experience more better gooder you get gooder at the game all right, our oh, I forgot to plant these. Um, but these are only sixty-five percent. All right, chat did mention mushrooms are important, so let's grow those. We'll do two beans. You watch, read, or game depending on your mood. That's cool. Totally fair. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Maybe we should add some cool lighting to the base, although I don't want to decorate just in case we have to move. But let's preemptively make that platform for the uh, bio lab. Take a bunch of stuff. We could put a stairwell here. What I do like about this game is that there's a day night cycle, but the nighttime, it gets like a little. It gets really dark to tell you that it's nighttime, but then all these other planets. Hey, that planet's getting green too. I wonder if there's other people on these other planets. I wonder if the further we get, it also shows the other planets developing too, as if there's other people developing the other ones. Oh, that'd be cool. If eventually we get to choose the other planets to go to. Oh man, that'd be cool. Be really neat if there was a planet that was already kind of like terraformed, but it was like a failed terraforming, and you get to kind of start with like a partial base or something like that. That'd be cool. With new equipment and new technology, as if there's like competing companies that all have different um, 
designs and stuff for their habitats and whatnot. Yeah, we could build a base up there, yeah. Right on the top of the cliff, we could do that, yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how big the bio lab will be, so I'm just gonna do a 4x4. Four four. Oops, and we're out of iron. What's up, Sarah? Good to see you. It looks like that other planet's greening up. I don't know if that's just like a toxic cloud or... But I mean, that looks pretty green to me. But it looks like nuclear green, you know? Or like, po like poison, how that would look in a game. Biolab, same size as Biodome? Okay. Then we should be alright. Okay, let's see where we're at now. We're at 668, so we're close. So let's make some more grass spreaders. We should have another Lerma seed. And then that's magnesium and aluminum. Well, that planet looks like it has clouds, unless that's ice. Hard to tell. So weird to actually have, like... Life on the planet, finally. Pretty. Yeah, we gotta put our water collector down again. Let's put this here for now. Low power. Uh, let's see. Let's do a quick um, solar panel. Iron, magnesium, aluminum, cobalt, silicon. That was fun. We almost died to death. There we go.
You like my content and enjoy watching me play? Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much, Chad. All right, now we're going to build the uh, nuclear reactor as soon as possible. We just need to unlock this next thing. Oh, we're very close. It's almost there. Okay. The cool thing is, is when those uh, meteorites and stuff come in like that, they drop a ton of free materials. You can just go to the craft site and pick up all the... All the materials. It's free. Do my elbows ever hurt nerve wise? Um, I suppose. Occasional aches and pains are common. Alright, um, I don't really want to leave the base until this thing's ready. Tier 2 algae generator. Can we make algae as well? Oh, oh yeah, we need our, um, ah, there it goes, bio lab unlocked. Oh, it's raining again. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> oh, the first time that happened, that was that was awesome. Oh boy. Well, thank you, Chancellor Max. Appreciate that. Three super alloy and aluminum. And aluminum. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This thing should work faster in the rain. Oh, the biolab's a two by two. Of course. That thing takes up 40 energy. All right, we'll uh, get the power up after this. Cool. Mars is being terraformed into England, it looks like. Yes. All right, we need titanium, iron, and silicon. We could actually put the bio lab on top of the um, storage building, but what I think I'll do here is we could we could build storage on top of the bio lab for all bio related things. Wow, cool. A new building. There we go. So we're gonna make expl mutagen. With methane cartridge, bacteria sample. Oh man, this is where the game really begins. Tier 2 f fertilizer, bacteria samples, bioplastic nugget. Yep, so we gotta grow a lot more mushrooms. Can we build stuff inside of here? <gasps> okay, if we can build uh, plant growers in here, that'd be sweet to put a bunch of like growing things in here for the mushrooms. Dude, this is my favorite building. This building looks amazing. 
I love that. What's the mutagen for? I am not sure. I think it's for the X-Men. Okay, let's do... Um... Well, actually, let's let's get started then on the uh, nuclear reactor. We need that first. Then we can make the algae generators. So we need more water. Wow, it's raining again. It just stopped raining. No, first we need power. Let's work on power. We're going to do solar, then we're going to do nuclear. Nuclear. Oh, uh, silicon is it. Yeah, a solar panel in a rainstorm. Beans. Oh, there we go. I think we're going to keep growing eggplants here. And we need some food. Nope, this is the this is the same game as we played a couple days ago. All right, let's work on that nuclear reactor. Um, so we need more water. We have an excess of oh, never mind. We need some more power first. Uh, we're working on the LG generator. We need power first. We're going to do power. We got to do power. Otherwise, we won't be able to run anything. Got to do power. Let's do. Build two solar power plants. Aluminum, silicon. Plus, I've got a ton of aluminum. i got to get rid of it. And it is... Uh, two iron, two silicon. I do like how the buildings give you a lot of extra space to be able to, uh... The buildings are a little smaller than the platforms, so that gives you plenty of room to build onto the side. Yeah, we'll launch some rockets. We'll get some uranium. What rocket brings in uranium, chat? We could build a rocket instead. What I'll have to do is... um. I have to build a rocket platform somewhere. Oh boy, that water's getting deep. Yeah, there's signs now in the game. I think if you build one of those... Um... I think if you build one of those... Um... What's his name will show up? From the... Uh... From the Mad Max movies. Yeah, what what rocket attracts uh, uranium meteorites? Is it a specific one? I 
Oh, we need water again. Uh, we need power before we do the algae generators. Hold on, one thing at a time, chat. We need we need to do power first. Uh, dead channel, one million subs and six hundred viewers, Lamau. I'm glad you showed up. Let me go ahead and show you something here. Hopefully that guy is actually still in the chat and hasn't left. Let me quickly, uh, damn it, there's an, well, anyway, I'll just make the example. Let me check something real quick. Well, first of all, let's check, um, well, first of all, you're subbed, so thank you very much for supporting the channel. So as for you, you've got 1,007 subscribers, 758 in seven days, 33,000 lifetime views from Norway. Hi on this channel, you'll mainly see Fortnite montages. Hope you enjoy. Well, my channel may be dead, but at least it was alive. Now, to also be fair, I've noticed that PewDiePie, a channel that has 111 million subscribers, typically has about 16,000 consecutive subscribers. So, it's all good. But the cool thing is, is over the whole time that I've been doing YouTube, about 320 million people have watched my channel. So not every video, not every live stream, not everything that I do is going to be... Oh, and there it goes. So now, now, that, now that Storm FM has had his cheeks clapped, now he starts lashing out at everybody in the chat, including myself. Oh boy. All right, chat. Watch how defensive he gets and watch the backpedaling. He's going to get super defensive now and he's going to backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. He's coming through. He's backpedaling on his little bike. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Coming through the chat. Watch it, guys. Out of the way, chat. He's coming through. Careful. Oh, he's wearing his helmet. That's good. I'm not sure if that's for the bike or... Careful. Playing a dead game on a dead channel, Lamau. This game literally came out today. But there he goes, lashing out. It's amazing how I knew what you were going to do, Storm FN, before you did. I predicted all of your moves. And in fact, I think chat would like to hear this, and then we'll stop talking about you. So enjoy your only day of fame, my friend. In the meantime, 
What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Again. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. There you go. Oh, Raptor, you're fine. We appreciate your work and sharing with us. Well, you know, when, whenever that happens, I always, at this point, it used to just be insulting and be like, why would people be that way? But then I realized to myself, wait a minute, let's analyze that. Like, is there actually any sort of, um, is there any sort of truth to that? Like, what? let's look at the data, statistics, and let's look at things mathematically and logically. But then there's never, like, any logic to it, and... The, you know, it's the internet, so there's a lot of lashing out that way. And I sometimes I hate to respond to it, but sometimes I can't help myself and try to find out, like, what the source of that may be. But a lot of the times it just seems to either come down to maturity or immaturity. Or lack of experience or just not knowing things. Like, it's like saying, um, you know, imagine going to Burger King. And you pull up into the uh, you pull up into the Burger King parking lot or drive through, and it's not particularly busy that day, so you just go ahead and assume that Burger King is going bankrupt because that particular day that you were there it wasn't as busy as it normally is. So thus, they must they must be shutting down and going out of business because you know three days ago when you were there there were four cars in line. Today it was only one. Burger King must be going out of business. Anyway, chat, I will leave the uh, fate of Storm FN to you. If you would like the moderation team to remove him for being disruptive. Put a one in the chat. I'm enjoying just watching all the lashing out. Am I going to build the uh, nuclear power plant? Yes, I need to build the um, thing, but I need to get water going. One in the tr one in the chat. If we should take out the trash. Anyway, if you guys want to sub to his channel, I'll leave a link for him. Please be kind. Do not give him any harassment. It's okay. Maybe go sub to him. Maybe in a few years his channel will be big. And um, maybe maybe he'll change his ways and make other videos and be more inclusive to people or something like that. But do not. Only subscribe and be positive over there. But I will tell you one last piece of advice, my friend. Just just be more positive and, and nice to people, and you'll get a lot further. But another thing to note, too, for, for those of you um, who want to start a channel or something like that, remember that on YouTube, your consecutive viewers when you're live is not the most amount of views that you're ever going to get in that live stream. YouTube is very much an on-demand service. It's always been since day one. So keep in mind when you make a um, when you make your channel, uh, and you go live, you might have let's say you got only ten people watching you, but a day later after that live stream's over, you could have two hundred views or something at the end. That's twenty times as many people you saw consecutively watching. So never take consecutive viewers as um, take that with a grain of salt, basically, because that's again, that's like stopping by a live stream and seeing not a lot of people in a stream doesn't mean that Burger King's going out of business, folks. Okay, the algae generators must make a ton of algae because if they require super super alloy, they must do a lot. Anyway, back to Planet Crafter. Sorry about that, folks. Two water bottles. 
Oh, I didn't even make one yet. Yeah, and people who watch are very busy as well. A lot of people who are in the streams are... They watch because they're at work, then they gotta go into a meeting, or they got kids, or they're in class, or something, you know? I'm from Dublin, Ireland. Peace and love to all. Same to you, full Irish, Gary. Welcome to the stream. Where did everyone in this chat go? Uh, Hawaii. Everyone's on vacation. Oh, I see. It grows. I gr it grows it right in there. Am I a party animal or a workaholic? Probably a workaholic, yeah. Hey, Discord23, good to see you. Another thing to remember, too, just as a side note, is oftentimes it's about quality and not quantity. I mean, imagine having a lot of viewers, but they're all rude and mean and negative, or having like 10, 10 very kind people. I prefer it. Back to the stream now. I do accounts payable and I listen to you in the background. I enjoy the game's ambiance. Well, there you go. Alright, so now we're making a lot of algae. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, I'm going to need some water. This thing's probably made water by now. Yep. And we need a little lunch break. Good. Mushroom, mushroom. Oh, I see. The little door opens when it's like ready to harvest. Or maybe not. Alright, so we're going to keep making mushrooms because apparently we need those. I work from home and it gets quiet. Nice to have a positive, engaging dude like Raptor to fill the space and provide a little break. Yeah. I've become quite good at jujitsu, though, in terms of like dealing with that negativity. But it's not why I stream, folks. It's not. It's mostly because I'm lazy. And like somebody else earlier in chat said, the cool thing about live streams is that we can, um, instead of having to watch like 75 episodes, oh, and imagine that too, like, you know, you, you guys can chat with me, we can have a conversation. Videos are a little different because, you know, you'd be on part like 700 or something like that. Oh, so with bioplastic, we can make it with mushrooms and silicon. Can I put a... I wonder if I could put a box in here. We're working on getting uh, nuclear power up now. We have a little bit extra power. I want to put a box in here. If we can put a box in here, it's going to be best game ever. Wow, that's awesome that they let you do that. That's great. That's really wonderful that you can put more stuff inside this building. Awesome. So now we can put all the stuff for the lab in here instead of having to go to the warehouse all the time. Alright, let's make explosive powder. Your inhalator with the two. Favorite mediocre YouTuber, I guess. Thank you. Okay, let's make some more... Oh, wait. Let's make a third explosive powder. Because we're getting tons of iridium. I think it's two, so we need six. Oh, cool. It's made there. 
All right, let's make a tier three nuclear reactor. Now, there's also a way. There's a there's a thing that um, breaks down things to core components. So with two microchip deconstructors and three super alloys, we can make the recycling machine that'll take uh, nuclear fuel rods and turn them back into regular uranium. So that's a thing we can do to like break down materials we found back into their basic components. And now we get a bunch of super alloy back, which is great. Whoa, that's a big boy. I will leave this for solar panels. Well, we could move this water thing. What? Oh, that inventory is full. Oh, cool, the nuclear reactor will look really cool next to the, uh... Wait. It'll look cool next to the biolab. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make NF trees. What is the nuclear reactor used for fuel in this game? Uh, it's basically free power so long as you put three nuclear rods in it. You don't have to continuously put anything in. Nice, plus 86 now, good. All right, so where were we? So now we've made the, uh, the lab. The recycler seems like a good thing to make. We'll need uranium. I think we should probably launch a rocket or something, right? We got a lot, of, a lot of nice super alloy back. That's good. And I don't think we have enough fuel to make a third one, so... But that's totally fine. Uh, no, I haven't listened to that song, Chancellor Max. Silicon. If we need more iridium, we've got tons of it. Okay, we have two uranium rods here. Is there a uranium biome? I haven't found one yet. I'm, I'm going to have to start making beacons because we're getting so... The, the general initial area, I've explored enough to where I know... I know the area around here. But, like, over this direction, I don't, I don't know this way where that most re recent wreck was. I'm not sure about that one. But I do know that we're just going to need... The more and more stuff we're building, it all requires power, so we will need more uranium. Because nuclear power is just going to save us on a lot of other materials. And we should have a ton of iridium now. If we do more heaters, we'll get more um, awesomeness. We need more awesomeness. Do 
Do I ever sleep? Yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm awake during the days. So when I'm awake, I guess I'm streaming. Guess we'll take the Iridium. So with three mines, we don't... That's not that much iridium. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's Wow, between those three, that's only enough to make one more iridium rod? That's crazy. Or did I not empty them all? Oh, that's two of them. Okay. All right. There's, there's more than that. Okay. Good morning, Raptor from the Philippines. What's up, uh, RPG Gaming TV? Good to see you. And good morning. Welcome to the Big O Stream. That's one an iridium run. I guess we'll just find more and more uranium now by going to the um, going to Rex now. And I don't know if there's any wrecks we haven't yet gone to. I'm not sure. You're crazy for the channel? Well, thank you. I'm glad you're, you're uh, enjoying it. Man, water is needed so much. All right, the Iridium run was good. We need more, though. Well, Lal Capone, thanks for watching. Chat, do, how many drills do we have? Oh, we have three, dr four drills, right? We have three in the Iridium mine and one in the Sulfur mine, right? I don't think we have any more. We need more... Osseum in order to get that. We need to get up to 500 heat. So maybe we can make some more heaters? What does a tier 3 take? Oh, we have more than enough to make those. Alright, maybe we should make a second story to the heater rooms and fill those up with like tier... Yeah, cave melt pro progress. You know what? Actually, I think there's one cave that we didn't go to that we should. Temperature right now is at 2.53. So at five, we can go to one more, but there, there should be a cave over there that maybe we haven't gone to yet. I'm not sure how much it's opened up. The game needs more bears. <sighs> Chat, okay. Has been hotel, is that a, uh, is that like a YouTube series or something? Let's little, bring a little snack. One rocket is enough to melt that. Oh, should we launch a rocket? We could build rockets now, but I might need to build a recycler to... Um, we might need to build a recycler to... Um, Break down some of that uranium. Your last stream of this game is on Steam. Yep. The uh, that was kind of part of the deal with the developers. In our last stream. All right, let's go check this, and then. We'll go to, um, wow, look at this lake. Oh, there's some ice there. 
I'll save that for later. You listen while you drive for Daddy Bezos? Well, thank you for watching. Or at least listening. And Adam, thank you very much for the, uh, the 50, bro. Thank you very much. Sorry I missed the uh, shout-out on that one, but thank you, Adam. Could be a cave around here. There it is. Ah, good. This cave opened up. We have more materials. Beautiful. Is that uranium? Oh, sulfur. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Raptoria is now a planet. And not just a mere city. Oh, that's true. Uh, thanks again, guys, for all the birthday wishes yesterday and today and whatnot. I pre appreciate all the, the support and whatnot. Thank you for all the likes and welcome to all the new subscribers and members. Thanks for being awesome, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate you all watching. All right, let's get to shelter. Birthday cake? Um, I had cake, but it wasn't like it wasn't like a birthday cake. Wow, look at all the stuff here. Holy crap. More Lerma seeds so we can do more grass makers. Let's definitely do that. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. And we'll just get the iron. Do different biomes have different grass? Good question. I think it's probably based on the seeds. But I'm assuming it'll be the same. What are Lerma seeds? It must be some type of grass. Ah. I hope this stays an island here. I would love to put some little lights and stuff in the lake and make it look pretty. Alright, wow, we got more iridium. Ooh, algae's growing. Oh, cool. I thought it would I thought it was just actually growing in there. I didn't realize it would make uh, plant life around it. 127. 127, nice. Ah, stay tuned, car care. Thanks for the 20 for the belated birthday. Thank you. Appreciate the support. You are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, look at all the, uh, the crystals we've got now. Awesome. Beautiful. So now we can make more automated drills. We have enough for another one of those. Um, I want to find an area um, where there's uranium. I think we should build that recycler, though. Oh, we also have that tier 4 miner, don't we? That lets us mine faster. Tier 4 mining ship. Silicon. Osmium. I don't think the mining's taking that long. I think I would rather keep the, uh, yeah, I'd rather keep the crystal. Yeah, can we, your, good question, can we move the spreader and will the grass stay there? I'm assuming it will, but I don't think it'll increase the number. Meaning if, if we spread, I, I think the, the income for oxygen is based on, oh, well, now we have the flower spreader, so let's try that out. But I think the number is based on the machine and not, like, the area of the uh, plants, maybe? Otherwise, it'd be cool if, like, the machine could drive around and, like, plant itself down. 
I wish I could support you. I would, but I can't. Uh, you are. Just watching the stream or saying hi or just being here is all the support I could ask for. And anything extra is just like, just a bonus on top of that. So if you become a member or leave a like, or if you're chatty in the chat, that's all just, all just a bonus. Did I put down that water catcher? Must have forgotten to do that again. Okay, well, back to uh, making one of those again. Iron, silicon, magnesium. And then... Cobalt, aluminum, and super alloy. Make two water catchers? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Um, yeah, we need water a lot faster now. Now that we're starting to make water, it's starting to become an important ingredient. Oh, I was going to make two stories under the heaters as well. Well, I'll build a water catcher down here. Uh, the game is like 20 bucks on Steam right now. Oh, you convinced the wife to get this game for herself? Good. Yeah, it's a relatively peaceful game, aside from all the violent storms that can come in, but if that happens, you just go inside and hide out for a little while. Alright, there could be water upstairs. Maybe we should get rid of these old... Uh... You know, actually, now I have these really... If we make these flower makers, we could take the... Uh... We could take these two that have really, really good... Those make like 600% faster oxygen. We could take those ones and put them in the flower spreader. So the flower spreader takes three water, super alloy, magnesium, and fertilizer. Oh, there's water. Yep, I think we should make another water maker for now. Let's find another place to make more. Yep, Raft is on the channel. Another good game. stuff again. Oh, we're out of iron. How am I doing today? Doing great. Thanks for asking. Well, since we need iron, we'll go to the other base. You want me to build chat some chicken alfredo pasta with garlic bread? I bet you would say that. Do I think this game has bears? <sighs> no. I don't think it has bears. I'll just get what's out of storage. But I'll leave food. And 
maybe one water. amazing how quickly you burn through iron, but iron's used to make about 90% of the stuff in the game. Every platform, stairs, buildings for housing, other things. What if the twist is you're a space bear? Yeah, we've already discovered the caves, now we just need trees and stuff to get bees so we can go steal their honey. Oh, inventory full. All right, luckily we got tons of water now. We're going to work on making those flower spreaders. Make sure we have enough power. Let's see if we can attract... Uh, and then we're going to build the rocket. Or maybe we could build the rocket first, because that does require a bit of power. It requires... 55 energy? Whoa. We have 75. Wow. So that brings us down to, what, 20-ish? Crazy. Okay, let's put water away. And to build this, we need the super alloy and... Aluminum. Great, lots more water. Yeah, we're going to build the uranium rocket now. Let's build a rocket platform and start making rockets then. I think we could put the platform over there for rockets. Uh, what's the difference between normal alloy and super alloy? Uh, the super alloy wears a cape. Thank you very much, Aaron. Well, I hope you uh, enjoy the game when you get it. Oh, come on. That should fit right there. fit there. Ugh. 
Well, I don't like the positioning, but it'll work. It's fine. All right, so how do you build the rocket? On on the top of the rocket platform is a crafting station for the rocket. I guess we could start the uh, asteroid attraction rocket. Attracts uranium asteroids, gives a global heat generation bonus. Oh, but building that permanently loses um, super alloy. But we might be able to now start manufacturing super alloys. Let's see what that takes. Oh, oh wow. Just cobalt, iron, magnesium, silicon, titanium, and aluminum. Aluminum would be the only thing that's rare, so now we can definitely make a ton of those. So super alloy is not really an issue much anymore. The uranium is, though. So let's make a recycler until we've got a lot more uranium. Then we can break this down. So the recycler costs 12 power. We need two microchip G constructions and three super alloys. Um, we need two of those. Okay. You hope I enjoyed my birthday? Yes, I did. Chat's still showing the love and... That's very nice. Thank you for asking. Low power. Ah, uh, boy. It would be nice if we could actually turn something off. Is there a way you can turn things off? Does anyone know? It'd be nice to do that rather than constructing and deconstructing. Okay. Your birthday is tomorrow? Very nice. Ah, oh, yes, the, the game is capable with a controller. Yes. If you need to know any more stats about the game, too, like if you can run it or like what the file size is, if you go to Steam on the right side, it should say, like, requirements, installation size, uh, controller, whether it's partial or full support. It's the same for any game. So always look on that right side under like the like the tags for the game, I think. Okay, so we need to make aluminum silicon. Yep, we're gonna need more super alloy, that's for sure.
All right, power production plus 35. That's going to be a problem because that uh, flower spreader is what? Negative 28? Oh, my God. Well, we could always disassemble the rocket station until we need to um, launch a rocket. Imagine that. Better like this. Okay, cool. I'm live on Steam too. I'm everywhere, chat. There's no way you can escape me. How many people are watching that live uh, Steam broadcast? Probably like a thousand. <laughs> oh, it's so it's so green, chat. No. Ah! It's so bright that it actually thinks I'm, um, it, it thinks it's my green screen. This is fine. Wow. Alright, now we can launch rockets all day. Wait, we gotta make the rocket at the... I'm gonna build a box near the rocket. Um... I need more iron. 3,500 are watching on Steam? Wow. So in actuality, we got about like 4,000 people kind of watching the channel, I guess, in a way. Yeah, there's no escape. Perfect. PC is trending number two. Oh, Planet Crafter is number two on Steam, and we got... So right now, I'm streaming the number two game on Steam right now? For real? Wait a minute. I wonder if I could trick chat. I wonder how smart chat is. Yeah, this will be stuff for the rocket. I'll just dump everything in there for now. Okay, so we could launch a rocket now. So it's going to take a rocket engine and more cobalt. You know what would be nice in this game is to pin a recipe. That'd be nice. And then that way you know what you need all the time. All right, we're going to work on a rocket launch now.
But I will need this stuff. But we can store it out here. Alright, let's make some rocket engines and work on a launch. That'll be cool. So every rocket is probably going to require a rocket engine. So we can make... Let's make four. Good. Now I don't think we have enough super alloy now. Elden Ring is number one only in comparison to this game. Wow. And Elden Ring's been out for a while. So this is like the number one new release. That's awesome. Glad so many people are watching. Okay, wait. I need to check what we need for materials. This is awesome. We're getting ready for a big old rocket launch, and then we'll see an asteroid strike. So let's see. We need two super alloy, so I gotta make more of that. Rocket engine and cobalt. Alright, so super alloy is just gonna take a lot of, um... Super alloy is going to take a lot... Uh oh Well, these still seem to be working. We'll definitely have to move those. The water's starting to come up to the base. Yeah, we can make super alloy, we just need all the... Super alloy basically takes like a little bit of every common material in the game. So what we can do is we can go back to every one of our mining bases and go collect stuff again and make super alloy. Okay, let's make a rocket. Holy crap. <laughs> How many hours are left in our current playthrough? Uh, till we stop having fun. Which hasn't happened yet. Wow. The rocket is ready for launch, baby. Yeah, that down there, that was just a bunch of rocks and sand. There was no lake there before. We we made that, Smiley. Well, I think we should launch this rocket. What do you think, chat? Would that be cool? Plant seeds here again. Should we launch the rocket? I think we should. Let me just grow some more beans. Apparently we need the eggplant for fertilizer, so we'll keep growing those. It'll bring uranium and death? Oh. Yeah, uranium seems like the only thing not natural to this planet, so we either need to, um, you know, have it come in from an asteroid or... Let's drop these off for now. I do need a snack, though. There we go. Oh baby, we gotta launch that rocket.
Hold on a second. Hold on. just here for the uranium or al uh, alloy or uh, aluminum thing. Uh, what do we need for the blueprint computer? Oh, same thing. Mining speed increase. And a shredder machine. Ninja turtles? Destroys objects placed inside. Destroys objects. I don't think I'd want to destroy anything. I'd want to keep it and build with it. Now, ah, the ice cave over here is not open. Oh, whoa, okay. S surprise! Didn't know that was there. Oh, you get aluminum for deconstructing it. Well, that's good. Didn't even know that was there. I was looking for uh, any more box things. Well, that was a good find. Found two of those now. We have a shredder in chat. Yes, bro, that is you. I wonder if we can go up that way. Oh, man. We built a base up here near the warp gate. Didn't really get a good chance to check that place out. I think uranium is really in that other ship that's closer to us. Can we build Krang's Terror Drone? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go over there yet. Looks scurry. That guy's kind of cute. Bum, bum. Oh yeah, I forgot we built a solar array over here. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> I forgot all oh, about that. A little bit mate. of power helps. He's right. Actually, that's a good way to mark your bases too with a tier two solar plant. Tier you two. Can easily see it from a long distance. Absolutely, brother. Space. Okay, that's the canyon down that there. That is. Yep. That's the Cosmo Canyon from Final Fantasy VII.
You need that iridium, bro. Fabric's rare. No, Get bring the. the way. Why would you do that? Bring the iridium. This guy. Unwatchable. I feel like we haven't gone through this enough. I don't know. Did we clear this place? Yeah, if it's empty, then it's clear. You'd know that if you cleared it out. Oh, yeah, these are the. This needs a power source. Ooh, iron. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, this guy. Oh, yeah, I'll take that tier, tier 2 heater. Tier 2 heater, brother. Amen. Let's see if it's got aluminum in it. Eww. That box. Yeah, that's empty. It is, yeah. Let's get in there, brother. Got to be more stuff around here. Yeah, somewhere. look. Yeah, it's got to be. Oh, it's probably in there. Go, go in. Go in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check that box. Okay, we need materials. Let's. Yeah, dump, dump off the other stuff. Yeah, get the aluminum though. You're gonna need the aluminum. Get the aluminum. Iridium. No, bring well, the now we have another. Uh, actually, now that we have another fuel rod, a uranium rod, we can now just go back and make another reactor. You're going to die if you go down there. That takes care of the power problem. If you go down there, you're going to die. You're going to die if you go down there. You're not going to be able to make a base fast enough. You're going to run out of oxygen. Don't do it. Don't go down there. Why? Right, we're in a new area. Yep, this is the canyon. Whoa. This place is huge. Right, this guy's gonna die. I know it. Guy sucks. The hell? Like an old river. Old man river. I'm gonna get a coffee. Oh, box. The stream is making me fall asleep with this guy. What is the next step after making clouds? Waking up late the next day for work? At least some of you. Left is the real one? What do you mean? Oh, both the same. YouTuber, you have low oxygen. Is that an iridium rod? No, it's Rod Stewart. Is that Excalibur? Oh, water. Well, I don't really need any of that. Nope. I'll take the iridium rod, though. Wow, that's a really good spot to get concentrated iridium. True. Dude, we are so far away from what the, the hell? base, bro. This guy has one more member than I do. He's got three new members. I've only got two. What the hell? Ooh, what two. is that? Sulfur? That's new. Oh, and uranium. 300%. Uranium, iron. Yep. Oh, actually, we need that to make a base. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Nope, too late. Nope. He's gonna die. I jumped inside. Oh, God. Cringe. You could hear the door open. The door opened. I was inside. 
I jumped inside. Unwatchable. That's fine. All right, we're gonna play. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna play Planet Crafter instead then. Other than this guy. Okay, let's let's let's. You guys ready? Okay, start of the stream. We're gonna play. The stream is just starting. Wait a minute. Okay, guys, welcome to our uh, playthrough of uh, Planet Crafter. We're playing Planet Crafter. Let's craft some planets. We're gonna launch a rocket. You guys ready? Cool. Let's do it. Oh wow, a rocket is there. Wow. Okay. Also, Discord giveaway at the end of the stream. Are right, you guys ready? All right, we're gonna launch the rocket. You ready? Prepare for launch. I think I left my car keys in there. These should have uranium on them. Yes, it does. Wait, that's like a big old rock of uranium? Wait, how am I supposed to get through that? Uh, we launched a rocket that should summon asteroids that have uranium on board. This is actually really cool. Oh wow, it's, it's hitting the base! That was awesome. I can't mine some of it though. I guess we'll have to wait a little bit for some of the rocks to despawn. We need that uranium though. Luckily it glows so it's easy to find. really didn't give us a lot of uranium. One of them landed in the water. Can your base be damaged by that? I don't think so. Oh no, we can't mine it up if it's in the water. Oh, man. I guess we'll need to build the rocket in a different biome so that way it doesn't go into the water. Oh, these are still working in the water. All right, eventually all this rock will disappear and it'll probably make it easier to find the, uh, the uranium. All right, we're gonna need to make a lot of titanium, or a lot of that super alloy too, so let's go find some of that. Yeah, the next time I summon an asteroid, I'm going to try to do it maybe in that big open area. Near the uh, crash site of that ship we went to last. Again already? Oh my god. Okay, 
Okay, that, that pulled in way too much stuff. I think we're just gonna stay inside. Oh my god. Oh boy. base is a mess. Oh my... Wow. I don't know if that water is going to get any higher. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Can't even walk around my base anymore. <laughs> Thing these buildings are sturdy. All right, we got 64 more power available. We should probably make the uh, flower spreader. Now oh, we need super alloy. All right, let's go to all of our other bases and collect materials and bring them back. We're gonna need that for super alloy. And then maybe all these rocks will despawn. And I'll come back and find the uranium at night when we can actually see it. The trouble with uranium is that in order to attract more, we already need more uranium. But I guess the gold... Yeah, the gold boxes have uranium in them, so that's good. What do we need for super duper alloy? Well, I know super alloy just takes um, more cobalt, aluminum, a few other things we got plenty of. So we'll start collecting what we've got in the boxes and heading back. We'll do a little uh, base trucking now. He's found it down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they say can be done? Amen, brother. We're gonna keep on trucking back and forth. How do we know when the planet is close to being terraformed? Oh, there's some more back there. Um, not sure exactly. Alright, all the time that we went to gather materials and stuff is so worth it. It's so worth it. Uh, let me change this for you guys. See if that's any better. Microsoft noises! That should work. There we go. Okay, so then, what are we going to do next? Drop off silicon.
some titanium. Oh, this is good. Well, let's keep on trucking. How do you mine the big uranium rocks? It seems like they might... It might work like how the ice does when the big rocks disappear. Maybe then you can get the uranium out of them. this stuff. Yeah, trains would be cool in this game. Some sort of way to get materials back and forth. A drone, maybe? There'll be all sorts of good ways to transport stuff. Yep, we're a space mule now. Well, that's what's fun about going back and forth. Still could never have enough iron, though. Probably full again, yep. Yeah, now we're getting ready to make super alloys so we can make more... Uh, we're going to make like the... Um, we're going to go for more of the biomass stuff, so we got to make flowers. And other things to uh, carry flowers. Yeah, we'll check the miners too, yeah. This area over here with the sandfall is really profitable. It's a very busy area. The more wrecks we check, it seems like the, f the further we get away from the starting area, the better the little microchips are for discovering new stuff. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we need a Subaru with 4x4. Dude, you know what would run on this planet? A, uh, one of those old 80s, like, Toyota 4Runner. Those things are absolutely indestructible. It's like... But YouTuber, a combustion engine won't work in space on a planet with no oxygen. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I swear, you could put, like, vegetable oil in a Toyota 4Runner. Ain't no problem, brother. Keep on trucking. But it's got to be, like, one of those square body uh, 4x4s from, the, like, the 80s. You know how um, in Satisfactory they have those tubes that transport people? That might be a good thing. I wonder what they have planned for transportation. Because you, you don't really have to go too far. It's not like too annoying. But it would be cool to build something permanent to connect two locations together. Oh, well, this part's fun. This is like when you build a new base in Minecraft and you're moving all your other stuff over. Is it going to seriously hit asteroids again? I don't think so. Yeah, we're getting ready to make super alloys, so we're putting a lot of stuff into storage. So this looks like a lot of stuff, but not really. Why not build a GPS uh, satellite? We could do that. But before we do... Before we make that, we have to have a uh, more super alloy. We need super alloy to make those.
No auto automatic sorter? I guess you're the automatic sorter in this game. Dude, we've got so many seeds. I don't need those anymore. Not seeds, but uh, plants. Wow, a lot of food in this spot. I didn't get all the miners? Yeah, we'll go back. We're going to have to take quite a few trips. Well, that's fine. The uh, Tier 2 jetpack makes trucking easy. I don't think the water is going any higher, is it? Mm, looks like it is. Are these broken now? Oh yeah, so some of these have stopped working now, so we gotta move these. So we gotta start moving all that stuff around. Alright, so let's put silicon away. Titanium more full on. Yeah, the, the squares in the upper left will organize inventories. Good way to easily find what's what. Boots tier three. Okay. Is there not a tier three jetpack? Backpack. Oh, uh, we have the tier five backpack. And the. I don't know if there's a tier five oxygen tank. Well, at least not yet. The water will raise to the rock pillars where you made the grass. Oh, the water's going to go up to there. Uh oh. Let's GG rip to the base then. Oh, left all those valuable materials. Gonna have to build some storage outside. Probably not a bad idea to have external storage too for when you're coming in and out of your base constantly. We'll get fish. Looks like that's most of it. 
Okay. Bum, bum. Let's see. We should get rid of these, too. Well, right, let's do a little respecking into tier three. And these, could, we can make. We can put these flowers now into the flower spreader, so we don't need the veg tubes anymore. The flower spreader will be more productive. Magnesium super alloy and fertilizer. How much is the fish? I don't know if there's fish. It would be cool to have it, though. Alright, so we just need silicon, alloy, titanium, cobalt, iron. Uh, aluminum? Aluminum. Yeah, I'd like a way to pin a recipe. Okay, let's make a flower spreader. We need fertilizer. Which, I don't think we brought any back from that other site. So we could, we could probably make fertilizer. Can we look at the other planet? Uh, it looks cloudier. The fertilizer is, oh, we need algae. How do we gather algae samples? go underneath. Ah. That's cool. Okay. Oh, and nice. It gives us a sample. Jetpack? Yep, yeah, we have a jetpack. We have a jetpack now. Good, pro uh, good progress. Two eggplants and sulfur. Oh, we have super alloy in here. Perfect. Move some of this stuff to the lab. You wish jetpacks were real in real life? I mean, kinda. I think there's ways we can do it. Maybe just not sustainable. Can you made clips? Pog. Yeah, we need more water. Two of these seem like just enough to make plants and also take care of your own water needs. Oh boy, that's coming up to the bottom of that. Well, let's get F's in the chat for the uh, the landing craft that's about to be destroyed. I think this thing's about to get buried by water. It's going, boys. Oh, there's uh, uranium up there. So it seems pretty easy at nighttime to find the uranium. Yeah. 
So when you summon that uranium, you're just going to have to come back like a couple days later. When all the rocks despawn. Alright, let's make some flowers. Oh, great. I think the whole crater will fill up with water. I guess we'll see. inside today. Uh, maybe we'll go out tomorrow. I think it's raining outside. Uh, Rick, I don't think every asteroid that comes down after, it, it, after you launch the rocket, it immediately comes down with asteroids, but then I think after that, all the other ones are just basic materials. Oh, we're hiding inside. We're not going out there. Hail to the no. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, see, it just has titanium and iron. But this is good, though. Like, this means free materials for super alloys, so it's still pretty useful. Look at that! We got green grass! Wow, we made four of those things? Cool. Uh, let's put some flowers down here. That takes up 28 power. Well, right, let's go take a look at our biomass indicator. If we need to, we can move those. That'll be easy. This is so cool. This is like... You guys remember the DLC for um, Surviving Mars? Where you could terraform Mars and add trees and plants and... Eventually, you could, like, build an outdoor city on Mars, you know? Like, prepare it for an atmosphere. That was cool. Okay, um... Oh, I forgot to... Wait, 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 wait. I didn't put flowers in the flower spreaders. Can we put a specific flower in there? Or is it just generic? Looks like it's just making grass. Oh, we can pick. Perfect. Yeah, that's why I had those. Oh, this is going to make so much oxygen. That's going to be ridiculous. This gives us a time 600 modifier. Oh, that's crazy. So it looks like the flower spreaders not only spread grass, but flowers. So it does both. You went all the way green on the surviving Mars. That is awesome, dude, that you did that. That is so... It's not hard to do, but it's just it's just really time consuming, but it's very satisfying. I'm glad you did that. Good for you, dude. I tried to do it as well. I thought that was a pretty cool DLC. Yeah, those flowers give such a boost, it's crazy. Oh well, we got more uranium now. Still not a lot of uranium though, that's not great. Not a lot of uranium. Okay, well now we have a bunch of super alloys, so what we're going to do now... We probably want to get another nuclear reactor up, because everything else we build from now on... ...is just going to require power. 75's okay, but... Wow, look at this. We have 20 tier 2 solar panels, that gives 390. One nuclear reactor is almost worth 20 solar panels. But for right now, solar panels are pretty much free for us because we mined, we mined out so much uh, aluminum so that we can make those. Okay, we gotta make, um, 
We gotta start using more materials. Algae makes 127 oxygen. Flowers make 161. But give much more biomass at 7.2. Let's go take a look at the lab. This is what we're working to unlock now is stuff in the lab. So we're going to unlock the algae generator tier 2 so we can upgrade those. Then we can get the biomass rocket. So, oh, that's going to take a while though. 25. Oh, look at how quickly it's going up though. That's going up very quickly. Why not make an area for nuclear reactors and solar panels? Well, we kind of got them all over the base. Uh, they, they fit in pretty much anywhere without really blocking any space. So solar panels are really good to... Like, we could just continue to build solar panels all day. I think that's a good tactic. To build solar panels in every nook and cranny in your base. But then, yeah, it, it is a good idea to build, like, a dedicated area for it. Right, I need to find another plant that gives me, like, plus 400. We should, we should make more flowers. Let's see what we got for plants. 150, 200. We have a 300. 300's good. I don't think we have enough power to make more than... Let's see what else we need. Yeah, let's go, let's go with flowers. So we need magnesium and fertilizer and a lot of water. So... Fertilizer again means more algae. So let's make more algae makers. That will be the biggest bottleneck. Or not. Hopefully the tier twos have a lot more um, range. Can we harvest the flowers growing from the spreaders? Oh, that is a very good question, my man. Big brain emote in the chat for that question. That is... That was a fantastic question, dude. That is a damn good thought. I don't think so, because that would be too awesome. Unfortunately not. But every time we find a golden box, we find the golden seeds. And then chat can spam golden ones. Look at that, man. We're at 20 million point two one two. Look at that number is going up faster and faster and faster and faster. I want to make a quick note to chat that I am not addicted to this game and we could stop at any time. Totally not addicted at all. Dude, we are kicking ass. And that's at 1494. Yeah, that'll be to 25 soon enough. Um, I want to make more flower makers though, so fertilizer then. So I do need more. Oh, we need more eggplants. We got plenty of food for a while, so let's switch to. A temporary eggplant farm. We're going to respec for eggplants. And we'll keep the beans. Alright, so we'll make this one eggplants for the lab. Actually, maybe we can move these to the lab. But the lab's kind of crowded. And we'll just grow them for now. Anyone know where Raptoria is located? Uh, in the hearts and minds of everybody watching. Well, thank you for watching. Right, that takes up 15 power. We should probably keep one going. We will need food. 
aluminum and iron. We'll put one upstairs. Beautiful. And we need seeds. Yep, well, we have some. All right, so now we're gonna make more fertilizer, then we can make more flowers. That's gonna require more water. Yeah, Raptoria is in a galaxy far, far, far away. I added one more far, so that way Disney's lawyers couldn't destroy me. Alright guys, um, stream was just purchased by Disney, um, so I'd like to tell everyone to visit the wonderful land of happiness, known as Walt Disney World. You can find the links for Disney World down below in the description. Uh, go ahead and click or tap that link. You can go to Disneyland, Disney World, or just simply breathe oxygen. Thank you to the Disney Corporation for providing us with oxygen. We are very lucky to have them here to allow us to breathe. Thank you very much, Disney. And, and Sunlight as well, now owned by the Disney Corporation. Disney, you have no other choice. All right, um, I need more eggplants. There we go. I guess we'll put all this stuff in the lab. Beans are for us. But eggplants and uh, mushrooms are for the lab. Why is it two water and magnesium? Didn't have uh, three more eggplants in a metal container. I, I'm trying to keep track of my stuff, but we're getting a lot of some things and not a lot of others. I do need a better seed, though. But we'll make one more flower. In fact, I'm not sure how much more power we have, so that's going to be another restraining factor. Oh, well, there's more uranium out there. Good, there it is. So with the uranium, we should be able to... make another power plant if we can get three more rods. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Real OG, for the birthday wishes, dude. Thank you very much. Well, let's go put down another flower spreader. some more water. Yeah, we're working on biomass now to unlock other stuff, and then we'll we'll check on heat and algae and other stuff. Oh, there's so much to do. If we find more golden seeds, though, we're, I'm immediately going to re replace any seeds with uh, any flowers with, with the golden seeds. Those are the best. Is it snowing? Oh. Oh wow, the water's actually creeping up. Now let's move that. Up here.
You know, there was a there was a campaign mission for if you've ever played Railroad Tycoon 3, there was this cool mission where like some country or something something had happened where a country had become like barren, like a desert and they were trying to like regrow plants and stuff like that and they had you could make this train that could like shoot out seeds along the railroad tracks and stuff and it could carry massive amounts of um seeds and such, and so when the train would drive down the tracks, it would, uh, spit out a ton of, um, seeds along the railroad, and it was, like, repopulating the, the planet. Railroad Tycoon 3 had some really just crazy cool missions towards the end. It was a crazy game. Uh, you want a, an opinion? I want to buy Raft, but I'm not sure. Are you great on the kind of games? Please help me. Oh, Raft is great. Yeah, Raft is an absolutely fantastic game. Let me say, though, Raft is much better with friends. So if you got some people you want to play with, it's not bad alone. You can definitely play it by yourself, and it's a little easier for the story. But if you're trying to build stuff, it's a, it's a great co-op building game. Good for families and kids and everybody to, to play together. Uh, let's go get that uranium. Wait, let's check power again. 31, yep. We're gonna need that. You think the sulfur container had three eggplants in it? Oh, thanks, dude. I'll check that. Yeah, sometimes I just need to dump stuff off while we get on a certain task. Otherwise, you know me. Oh, there it is over there. Love how the jetpack is unlimited fuel. Like, you can't really go too high, but you can at least... It's, it's basically like a hovercraft. You can just fly over everything. And that's kind of exactly what I wanted. Oh, well, F's in the chat, boys, for the uh, landing craft. I wonder if we can go in there and get oxygen. Nope. It's dead. Algae generator tier 2 unlocked. Let's check out how fast this is going. Oh, look at that, yeah. Look at how quickly that's going up. The next thing unlocks at 175. Flower spreader 2 at 500. Food grow at 35. That's 35T. Calm down, British people. I didn't see... I didn't say T-E-A. Relax. Yo, big shout out to the Brits in the chat, by the way. Anybody, uh, where's everybody watching from, by the way? Much love to all of you. Oh my god, look at that. Eggplants and the sulfur thing. Good job, my man. Alright, let's make another nuclear power plant. Nuclear. Now, we built a bunch of rocket engines already, so we should be able to just build uh, uranium rods. But we need three of those. Oh, a lot of people from India in the chat. Big shout out. What's up, Jamie Brook? Good to see you as well. We should have a uranium rod somewhere. Or we used it. I think it's three of these. Yeah, damn. We need a lot more than what we got. I think we're going to have to launch another uranium rocket. Unless I've got some in here. Maybe. The Netherlands... Hey, Manchester in the chat. What's up? Good to see you, Benny. Denmark. Hey, Danes. Ireland. What's up? Oh, wow. Do we have a lot of uranium? Wow, I was mistaken. And we got a lot of engines, so... South Africa in the chat as well. Italy. Hey, welcome aboard. Right, let's see if we can make three. 
All right, we can do it. I'm going to leave uranium out here. Yeah, there's some uranium underwater, but I couldn't get to it. It wouldn't, like, let me mine it up. I can try again, though. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Oh, maybe I can now. Oh, there we go. I just needed to go further below water. Yeah, maybe there's some... There might be some uranium asteroids up there, too, yeah. Now that it's nighttime, let's peruse around and see if we can find more uranium. Svadia, hey, yeah, Svadia. Welcome in Svensk Kompasada. Hey, I'm Adu. Adu, bro. Yogbin, bro. Thought I saw uranium there. Okay, I don't see any more. Oh. Oh, it's the... <laughs> that green glow was the reactor. Oh, thank you, Stormy Cat, for the birthday wishes. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we got a bunch more uranium. That's great. We'll need to keep a little bit of uranium for... Any of the... Oh, any of the backup projects. Okay. I think we want to keep raising that bio level, though. Um, yeah. So, what are we making? Tier 2 reactor also requires super alloy and explosive powder. An explosive powder made in the lab requires two sulfur and iridium. God, that's such an easy recipe. Wait, we already had some. Good. Oh. So then we just need super alloy. And three water. How long has the stream been going? Uh, we're on f uh, five hours. Wow, it doesn't even feel like that. This game is just too good, man. Fine, let's make another nuclear reactor. Nuclear. Close enough. All right, so now we have an astronomical amount of power so we can continue with the bio crafting. Uh oh. The water's getting close, boys. I think the base is done for. Let's try to get as much research done as we can. You can barely stand to think about it. Haha. <laughs> okay, what do we 
need to make the flower. We have more flowers, so let's just keep doing those. Algae makes 350 oxygen. Flowers make 161. But we don't have any more bioplastics, so let's do this for now. Did I move the drills yet? Um, I took them apart, and we need to rebuild them. I wonder if I could build a little computer here. I'd like to put a computer screen in here. Let me just check power and see what we can do. We'll plan out our moves. Alright, so we have 363 power. So I want to at least build one more flower thing. We should really take advantage of that because we have a lot of water and other stuff. Yeah, the mushrooms will make the bioplastic, yes. And these are done. These are almost done. Let's see how far we are for the water progression. Let's see how high the water will get. Oh god. It's only at 48%. Oh no. That means the water's probably gonna get up to there. Oh no, the base is GG. No! Alright, well let's, let's be productive with our time. Before she goes under. Anybody in chat play violin? I want some volunteers to go on deck and start playing some calming music while everybody gets in the uh, evac rafts. No, I need... No, the, the drills are still uh, important. I'm just going to move them later. I'm busy with a couple of things at the moment. I'm going to just try to make some materials before we're GG'd. Oh, there's tier 2 fertilizer, but we don't need that yet. Silicon is what we need. Why not dismantle the base now? Well, I'm going to wait and see where the water ends up so then I can build a base next to it. So a bunch of bioplastic nugs. Nice. The game has nuggets. Best game ever made. Ever. Okay. Um. Oh, we hit an iceberg? Oh, okay. Well, that's GG, boys. Fertilizer and magnesium. Oh, yeah. Sulfur. It's not like the water is coming up, it feels more like the base is sinking now. I don't know what it's sinking about, but it's probably sinking Arby's. Oh god. Well, the faster we make this go... Oh no, the base... Well, where do we new build the new base, boys? Maybe here? That seems like a good flat spot to make a new base right there, right? We'll have lakefront property, yeah. I think we should build right here. And it'll be near the sand uh, waterfall and all that stuff. Sand falls.
Okay, cool. Ooh, pretty. Oh boy. It's gonna be a very moving moment when the bass sinks. I mean, should we get ready with our bass tribute now? Like... Let's see... Maybe this one? Let's just take a, a moment to remember the bass. to the escape rockets. It's going down, boys. It's going down. Oh, the music is also like the sounds of the planet. That's interesting. Alright, where were we before I got distracted? Before chat distracted me. Yeah, you. <laughs> oh boy. You, you didn't know flutes could go that high pitched, yeah. I didn't either. Alright, I uh, I think we should keep working on the bio rating, because that's where more of the stuff is unlocked. Ooh, that's, ooh, that number's going quick. We're at 50, but we need what? 125, 175, that's not enough. Um...
Yeah, the, the first base is going down. Well, that's cool, though, because then we can, we can actually make a second base and, you know, make it better. Not enough biomass, my lord. You know, actually, instead of building more drills, which create 17 pressure and 0.25, we could actually make more extractors. We'd have to go check on them, though. Nah, we need more drills. All right, let's go check and see where we need to uh, redo stuff. Yeah, pressure has dropped too much. Oh, biomass is a new stat that we can check here. Oh, we can see it's uh, G per second. Okay. Wow, oxygen is crazy because of the uh, plant life. So heat is really good at 1,870, probably from all the drills. So we got to get pressure back up, so let's go do that. Tier 2 algae producer? Yeah, we could do that. I need to make more... Um, we're going to need more super alloy for that one. But let's go replace the drills. Because the Tier 3 drills are only iron and titanium. And aluminum. Okay, so it is iron, titanium, and aluminum? Yes. Oh good, this will take a lot of our titanium. We were like, at super overflow. Actually, wait. Nope. Titanium, iron. That's not gonna be... Wait, is that two rows? Oh, that's three rows, okay. Whatever. Anyway, we're probably going to be short on a material anyway. So let's do aluminum. Don't uh, forget to have the outside containers from the old drills. Where do we put the new... I can put the new drills up here, I suppose. Launch the rocket to... Oh, Iridium rocket to increase pressure. Okay. Yeah, we could start launching rockets. But since we have all this extra material, I'm going to use this. Instead of leaving our, you know, instead of having a bunch of excess power and materials sitting around, I'm actually going to use them. And then if we need more power, we'll just take down the, um... If we need more power, we'll just take down the drills. <clears throat> oh boy. As the ice cave melted. Ice cave will melt at 500. Yeah, the uh, the drills release pressure that's built up in the um, underground. Gases and such. That is true. Alright, gas is now at 146. Not great. But we can make that up, make up for that. Oh, actually, yeah, didn't this open at five? Oh, yeah, we can go into the... We can go into the caves now, boys. Or at least return to the caves again. 
that means more awesome. But I don't know what we're going to do with it. I guess we could make more... Um, we could make more drills. Oh, this just leads to the other side. Oh, that's cool. It's a shortcut. Oh, man. Now we have a massive shortcut to the sulfur. That's amazing. Oh, that's really awesome. That's really cool. All right. Well, that's good. Let's look around the cave. I don't know if I fully explored it yet. Oh, that's great. That's a really nice shortcut then. Is that iron? I don't know. Don't care. Alright, well that's cool. So now that's a big shortcut. So that leads to where the sulfur was on the other side of the, si uh, the uh, sand falls. That's big. That's a big shortcut. What's hanging from the top of the cave? It's osseum crystals, but I, I think those are too big for us to... Uh... All right, chat, you got to get to the, the lifeboats, the lifeboat rocket. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch that one out of here and s save chat. All right, before the base gets flooded, we got to make some more materials then. See if we can get a lot of stuff made. Oh, I think, yeah, I think the base is done for. I think the only thing that won't be flooded is the command center at the top. Maybe up here, maybe this will be safe. We'll see. Okay, so power's at 292. Let's build the antenna, see if there's any new messages. Titanium, iron, silicon, aluminum. Yeah, women and children first. Uh, one titanium. Two iron and aluminum. keep the satellite dish because it looks cool oh we can see all the things we can unlock oh look at all the things we still have yet to oh man look at that lake water collector pulsar quartz oh there's a new oh that's a new power level or it's containing a tremendous amount of energy seed spreader rocket dna manipulator oh <gasps> create new genes that mu they, we must be able to get animals then fusion energy cell oh that's what we need to unlock the um what's on those ships then so that's an end game item heater tier four tier a uh, tree spreader tier two biodome tier two drill tier four nuclear fusion generator that's super end game gas extractor or extractor tier two oh my god that is a lot of stuff. What should we improve upon the most? Pressure. Does the uh, does the rocket launch create pressure too, or is it just heat? Yeah. Is it, does it create Levi or Wranglers? Yeah. Good question. Where's that food grower? Yeah, there's a lot for this game for an like a early access. It's good. Okay, um 
I think what we should do is continue to go get materials. Oh boy. I'm gonna go try to make more super alloy. Yeah, we've launched a rocket. We launched a rocket to get more uranium. And I think we should probably do that again. The Iridium rocket increases pressure by a thousand percent. Wow, okay. We should definitely do that. Alright, everything's gone from there. Well, I think we're going to launch a rocket right now. I think we should launch the Iridium rocket to get the pressure up. Just want to make sure I brought everything back. And we need more super alloys, so these drills are important. We could build our new base up here, though. It's Look at how nice and flat it is. But I think the water is going to come right up to the rim. So I'm pretty sure the water will probably be even with this so everything I think the bio lab maybe well actually maybe the bio lab's the only thing that's going to be flooded we'll put the non subscribers in there that'll be fine they can play around in the water fine Yeah, iridium's going down in the extractor, yeah. It's okay. We've got a few of them, so we can still... We can still make do. But we're about to launch the iridium rocket, so that'll be fine. Oh, we got plenty of iridium anyway. Plenty of iridium. All right, silicon, and then a ton of titanium. Meatballs. Okay, let's find out what it's like to launch the Iridium rocket. And we'll have to find out the materials we need. Magnetic field projection rocket attracts iridium asteroids, gives global generation bonus by projecting magnetic field. Pressure multiplier times a thousand. Four silicon, two super alloy. All right, we're launching the uh, escape craft for uh, Raptor Ultimate members. For no, just randomly name a, a class in the uh, in the stream. For Raptor Ultimate members are first. We want to make sure you guys get off safely, you know. I know you guys have a lot to do, so let's get you guys going first. All right, helmets on. We're, we got to get you guys out of here. <laughs> you're all equally important. I'm just making a Titanic joke. Don't think you're not. Magnetic field protection rocket. Go. All right, and just, just for fun. icebergs I'm 
I'm going down with the base. another rocket Raptor plus members Ooh. GPS satellite oh I gotta make the microchip and we, we need more super alloy oh boy can't get into door Oh no. Okay, we're good. Woo, okay. I gotta make a GPS microchip. Silicon, magnesium, and aluminum. Well, we might have to start up the old aluminum drills again. Let's see how this works. Oh yeah, so that way's north. Okay. Uh oh. It's a little moist. I think I need to make alloys. Okay, what do we need again? Cobalt, magnesium, oh no, we're gonna need aluminum. see the lake percentage. Lake percentage is at 68%. Oh boy. The bio lab's going down. Okay, um... Boy, we're out of aluminum. Let's just launch the satellite. My Raptor Plus members to the escape rafts. We gotta get you guys out of here. I'll find the iridium once all this uh, gunk goes away. It increases pressure though, so that's a good benefit. Launching the GPS just provides geolocation to the mapping screen. Oh wait, there's a tier two. Oh, it takes two of them. Provides better geolocation. Oh, let's build the tier two then. We just need one more microchip. Hold on. All right, so all members. All members to the escape rockets. Oh God. Oh boy, it's becoming damp. Dampy moisture. Can't get in. Okay. okay so I need. Oh no, I need two aluminum. I only have one. What is it? Silicon and magnesium.
We might have more aluminum back at the old aluminum base. We're gonna have to move that. Oh boy. Base is going down. Let's go back to the old aluminum mines and see if there's any left. Worst case, we'll have to move back to the aluminum area. Luckily, we have iridium asteroid. Oh, there's water over here, too. Oh, this is going to be a little river. Oh, cool. That's cool. Oh, good, we got plenty of aluminum. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can, in order to increase our storage space, we can put um, iridium and uranium into uh, rods. And then from that, we can um, just use the recycler to shrink them down again. That's a good idea to. Wow, oh, this lake is freaking beautiful. Look at this. This is gorgeous. We gotta name this lake. Oh boy, look. Wow, these algae makers were right on the shore. Oh wow, the, wa the water's really going up fast. Oh boy. Okay, I need, to, I need to make another, oh boy. Don't tell me more asteroids again. I wonder if there'll be a waterfall from the river down into the lake. Holy crap, if that if that happens, that'll be amazing. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, sending up a signal flare. Provides better geolocation. All right, hopefully they can hopefully they can find a better stream. Oh, it's almost gone. Okay, tier two, go. Where were we? every time. Okay, now I need a microchip for being able to see. Add a compass to your screen. I think there's a computer I can make, isn't it? Oh, mapping. Shows map of surrounding area. We need another microchip. Silicon, magnesium. I won't start to panic until this gets flooded. Yeah, we unlocked the tier 2 Poly Shores house, so that's good. With biodome level two, we'll be good. Actually, I should make another one for the uh, computer too. We'll need one for the computer screen and one for me. So that's for me. Iron and silicon. Shows a map of the surrounding area. Oh, another computer screen. Can I build like a little shelf? No. There's a little table, but that looks actually kind of, kind of big. 
I'll uh, get the iridium when this, when all the asteroids despawn. Way easier. Can I put a monitor on top of a monitor? Holy crap, I can. Well, that shows how fill, filled up the lake is, but... Wait, if I build a computer screen in different locations, it'll show a different size. So it looks like around the area, there's, there's a massive storm, I think, around the area that we can't go. So if we build, like, another screen in one of our far north... Wow, you can actually see where the... Oh, there is going to be a waterfall. The area of view is, is centered on the screen, yeah. So that so that seems like we'll be able to um no matter what we wherever we build, we'll be able to see different stuff. So we can build another one somewhere else. So let's build another one just so we can So it's iron. Okay, we need another microchip for that. I'm gonna build two more. Don't go chasing waterfalls? Yeah. We'll just stick to the rivers and lakes that we're used to. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's put some more quote-unquote ice in here. And... Put this stuff in here. Oh, let's just take all the iridium. Compact that into bars. Good, a lot more storage. Oh boy. Claim the bio lab. Oh my god. There's water all in my atmospheric water collector, it's everywhere. next instead of the dome. My right, water percentage is at 77%. Oh yeah, it's, it's going to go right up to here. Unless, since it's rising, yeah, I, I'm assuming it's like 77% ri rising. I don't know. I, I can't wait to see a waterfall. I'm really curious to see now, like, where... I want to see the other maps now. 300 power remaining. Alright, let's take a look at stats. Pressure is now at 1,000. So every time we launch that, we get extra pressure? Biomass we need more of. Maybe we should do algae since we've got conveniently all this water here. Tier 2 algae maker requires bioplastic nuggets and fertilizer. Oh, we need uh, algae and sulfur. Do we have any more sulfur around? Sure do. Yeah, we'll build the tier 2 biodome soon. Make 
two of those. I need more algae samples. Nope, magnesium and super alloy. Takes two per one. Oh, a new message. I managed to sneak more information. I read that you have a more chance of success if you build your own base in altitude. I'm not sure why for now. And if you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves should be accessible when the ice melts. And one last thing, you can dot dot dot. Riley is horrible at sending emails. Like, hey, I noticed your base is flooded, but you should build your base above the water. Oh, by the way, there's water. Did I mention the water? It's like, yes, but you've mentioned it too late. Holding out to hope I don't have to move the base. It's about to claim the tier two base. Let's build another. Oh, we need super alloys. Okay. Okay, that works. And then now we just need the bioplastic fertilizer magnesium water bottle. Might be able to build two more. Rates oxygen 350 per second. That's about as much as the flower maker if I make those. Hmm. Let me let me do a little uh Let me do a little thinking. So the tier two algae maker makes 350 oxygen per second. Wow, this lake is huge. Raptor Jones locker, yahar, yahar. Me hearty subscribers, yahar. You think is it about 80%? That sounds about right. Alright, so the flower, the best flower maker is making 900 oxygen per second. The one we can make more of is making 43. So it's pretty, it's worth to make both. They're pretty close. Off by about 100, so we should definitely make both. Oh my god, the rocket's gonna be swallowed up. Okay, um, yep, let's make the algae makers. Bioplastic. God, it's going to claim the nuclear plant. Okay, let's see if we can make three. 
Need three fertilizer. Let's forget these recipes. Algae and sulfur. Grabbing everything I can. Panicked. Base. Need. Okay, um... Water bottle, magnesium, and super alloy. I will only be able to make two, I think. That's good enough. Well, I guess now we can see the uh, algae growing from inside the uh, biodome. I need more bioplastic. You want to call it Rocket Lake? That's a, that's a pretty sweet name for it. Probably going to be the only thing tall enough to actually be seen from the lake. Yeah, the water collectors are offline. Okay, we want to make fertilizer. No. Bioplastic. Nice thing about having a spacesuit underwater is we can already breathe underwater, so that's good. Let's check and see how much more the lake will go up. We're at 86%. So I'm guessing... Maybe here? So I think, I think the warehouse will be safe. The bio lab and the... Um, and the I don't I, maybe it'll go up to just here. I love this though how we can actually walk into the water. That's cool. That's really neat. Oh, you want me to name it after Riley for sending a uh, email six months too late? Okay, what can we do to be more productive? Let's let's take a look at numbers again. We might not have to move the whole base, so we'll we'll hold off on that. I think we should definitely make more biomass because that will unlock higher stuff for us. Pressure's got a thousand multiplier. Heat and pressure. That's what we should continue to launch rockets for. Let's go find that iridium. Put stuff into storage. What happens to your base when the reactors go offline? Well, without electricity going through the electric fences, the raptors will get out of their enclosure. The T-Rex will probably escape. And Dennis Nedry will try to also escape. Unsuccessfully. But don't worry, we got dots in here.
Alright, so let's uh, get some iron and get those water things back online. I'll only start to panic when we see water in the base. Oh boy, well there goes the lab. Oh boy. Oh, and there goes the rocket. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll rebuild everything that we've uh, dismantled. I need to just wait and see how tall the water will get. And I'm assuming it's going to connect these two together. So I think the water will go up to here. So I think everything... Everything that's below here is doomed. Anything that's below this line is going to have to go. We'll, d we'll redesign the base after the water stops rising so we can build it right on the edge. That way we can build a base right on the edge of the water. Well, I think the base is sinking. Patrick, thank you for the 50 Swedish kroner, dude. Taxamika, thank you very much. All right, we'll know the base is done when the when the power goes offline. I'm staying with this sinking ship, chat. I'm not I'm not bailing. I'm trying to get chat to the life drafts. Any more uranium? Probably not. Oh boy. Well, I think the command center will be high and dry. Yeah, I think it's going to go to maybe maybe the edge of this rock. But I do need to build some new platforms, so... Let's get rid of all this stuff. Oh, the second floor of the thing is almost done. Well, what we could do is we could just take where this lab is now. We could just build everything up a second story, right? We could just elevate everything by one platform, maybe, if it... No, it's not Raplantis, chat. It's, it's not It's not Raplantis. They were actually good at what they did. Come on. Oh, boy. You know what? Just drop off everything. It's fine. I'm just going to keep deleting old base parts. Actually, I think we'll fix the foundations now. Yeah, so I guess the game's actually just Subnautica. Who knew? Yeah, instead of C-Lab, we'll call it C-Rap, yeah.
Hey, once the nuclear power cuts off, that's when you know it's flooded. so cool. The fact that you gotta like move your... I I'm much happier that I didn't know where the water was and have to like move my base or something than if than if I knew, you know? This is kind of cool to like and I mean in the future I'll know but for the first playthrough it's like it's cool not knowing. Uh, percentage left on the water is 94%. So I, I honestly think it's gonna go to right about here. So I, I don't think it'll go any higher than this. Famous last words, but I... That's an awfully long way to go for that water. The stream has reached the six hour mark. I know, I know. It might go longer because I'm having a blast with this game. Okay. Well, let's uh, get the food ready. Oh, that green bean's not even ready? Um, bum, bum, bum. That'll hold us over. You also have to get to space, you know, right? Um, I mean, they were told- they told me I wasn't supposed to leave. But a guy named Riley is trying to uh, help us out. Well, so much for the uh, rocket base, huh? I guess now we can build out on a platform. Ooh, we unlocked the biomass rock. Uh oh. Yeah, the underwater buildings uh, are still accessible, but they're probably offline, or at least the uh, the bio labs probably offline. Actually, I guess the only way to know. Ooh, lakes are at ninety six percent. The only way to know would be to go in there and see. Well, there went the power plants. Oh boy. Alright, I think what I want to do is just raise everything up one level. Yeah, hopefully we have flood insurance. I think it's I think we're pretty good. I think it's like not gonna go much higher than that. Oh right. Wanted to check and see, but that that's gotta be at like ninety nine percent right now. That's not going to work because that's going to have to overlap. All right, we're going to have to deconstruct this. Everything's got to go. It's the only way I can make the base taller. Man, look at all that nuclear rods. <laughs> I'm the... Yeah, it's a it's a fake it's a false insurance claim. I'm the one causing the uh Oh no. Oh, it seems like we're okay. Um let's see, let's put some of this away. 
Hopefully the moment of truth. I guess we might get an email when the uh, when the lakes have risen all the way. That email from that Riley guy should have came in like as soon as the water level started to rise. I don't think we need the algae. That's not algae. What's up, Helenir? Welcome again to all the new subscribers. Welcome, members. Good to see you all back. This is an amazingly fun game, so it's good to see you all here. Hope you're all having a good day. Welcome to the Big O... Big O stream. Gotta get those re reactors back online. There's even a generator that produces more power than this. That's crazy. Alright, power re power's restored. Let's see where the water's at. How far are we in the game? Just started the stream. Uh, about four, oh, 13 hours right now. Oh no, the lake is at 96%. Oh no. Oh boy. you buy this game? I think you should buy this game if you really think you're going to enjoy it. But if you like terraforming games and base builders, this has got all the basic stuff in there. And it's really good for an early access game. I hope they end up making uh, I hope they end up fleshing out more of like the uh, craft sites and maybe get voice actors. That'd be really cool to have it like uh, how it is in Subnautica and stuff. I think they could get away with doing a lot of cool stuff that Subnautica did and But this is uh, different enough where it feels like a <clears throat> very unique, very different game. Some people in chat are watching while they're playing themselves, so at least they'll kind of, they'll know. You just bought the game on Steam? Okay, cool. Apparently a lot of people are watching my stream on YouTube, uh, on uh, Steam as well which is live streaming the uh, gameplay from a couple of days ago. What a great game.
All right, we're gonna get ready to build a bunch of platforms. Let's take all the iron. You know what would be really cool is if we build underwater lights. That w oh, dude. If we can build an area lamp, we could probably build some of these underwater. It does say a lamp that could be placed anywhere. So could you imagine, like, building a bunch of uh, lights in the lake? You could have, like, an entirely uh, lit up lake. That'd be amazing. Right, well, the lake is still rising. It's a gamble, boys. Oh, there's no no chance. No chance. It's gonna get flooded too. Damn. Oh wait, maybe not. It's at 99%. We might be saved. Holy crap. It might work. No freaking way. Wow. Wow. No way. Oh, baby. I think it's gonna work. Oh, right. Liquid water to lakes at 99.95. Now we gotta have moss. And now we have a lake water collector so we don't have to do the other thing. All right, now we need moss to grow. Oh, that's actually cool. The solar panels kind of come out of the water a bit. Oh, I wish they were up just a little bit more, though. That's awesome, man. Uh, Randy or Kate Moss? Uh, Ra yeah, Randy Moss. Oh, these solar panels look cool as hell, man. Look at these ones that are at, like, water level. Oh, that's amazing, man. Alright, time to reform the base, then. Oh, that turned out perfectly. Now we just gotta fix that biodome, but... Actually, wait. Oh, that's cool. We can actually see the... That's amazing! We can see the uh, air from there. Alright, so this is off a little bit, so we can redesign all of this. Wait, how did that get off a little bit? Oh, it must be from the stairwell. Okay, well, since we're redesigning everything... Oh, that's cool. We get to redesign this a little bit. Okay, let's make a couple dump boxes. Perfect, man. Perfect. Can't believe the way it linked up. I 
hydration level low. Now yeah, we'll we'll hold off for a minute. Let's just get this done. All right, so now we can rest assured that the base is not going to be flooded anymore. And I love the fact that some of these solar panels are like below water level, just a little bit. New message received. How many hours of gameplay does this have? Maybe 30? I like how we can get a message even though. Message from Convict GP8971Y. To whom may receive this message? I'm a planet crafter set to, on the Majora 3 planet. If you receive this, it means you are near. Maybe you're a planet crafter as well. The weather, the weather is atrocious and I'm running out of resources. There is not enough on this barren world to terraform. I don't know why I chose this death. It would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can hear me, please do. And send help, please do. Is that that guy on that planet, maybe? Oh, we get to help somebody else? Okay, maybe. We'll get water in a minute. Send him a rocket? That would be cool. I hope we can. And Slim Jims chat? You can't have both. You either have a supply rocket or Slim Jims. Can't have both. You know what would actually look really cool is if I um, put the smaller solar panels up front and the bigger ones behind, but then again, I need that area open. Oh man. Oh man. Now we got to get the nuclear reactors back online. Man, this is so cool. I love this. So we got to go up two. So that's just out of water level. Nope. Wait. I don't think that's accurate. Yeah, maybe now we have to build an arc. Now, these grids need to touch beforehand. I think I can take this down.
More iron needed. Nope, that was wrong. Yeah, I want the base to connect, so I gotta I gotta delete this first because they're disconnected. We gotta delete all this stuff first. base redesign now that we got all the extra materials and now we got waterfront property like perfect I got all the platforms. That looks good. So we'll build the nuclear reactors here. Then we need a biodome. Any islands? Nope. Wow, look at how high the water raises. That's crazy. Maybe we should build up here just so we don't have to use as many, um... We won't have to use as many platforms as we, if we build up here. What's a rock block in the way? Plenty of iron left. All right, we're getting we're getting there. Base redesign is looking good. Yeah, good thing we didn't like delete the whole base because uh, it's been a giant waste of time. put stairs underwater. Oh, that's a shame. They should let you do that. Yeah, so now we can't play stairs underwater. That's okay. It's nice to have stairs going into the water. Because then what we could do now is we can, we can move our algae over here. And then we can just 
it, since this water is shallow, it'll just be a lot easier to harvest, and then we just walk right back out. So that's a much better plan, so we'll move those over there. They should, they should let you build that under uh, water. Okay, we should be able to build the nuclear plants again. The nuclear plants. Also railings. Love to be able to place railings in the game. My base is back online. All right. Oh. Okay, yeah, you want a coffee maker? For sure. I wonder what the tier 2 light looks like. Cobalt and magnesium. Oh, and you can't build it underwater? Boo. Alright, so if you want underwater lighting, you gotta build it before water starts coming in. Build off a platform underwater? Maybe. No. At least not the stairs. Yeah, uh, sadly there's no waterfall over there. There is a river though. Yeah, there should be a waterfall that you can see from over there. Anyway, another nice area to build a base on the other side over there too. Okay, so now we got power back up. We need to build the uh, the lab. So the lab is a two by two. I'll build a three. Can we travel to other moons? I mean, the game might be implying that once we're done here, maybe we go to another planet and, and help somebody else. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the end of the game, and it's also early access, so... There might be a lot more to discover and unlock. Also, uh... Hopefully they add angled pieces for the, um... For uh, foundations to have like a like a triangular piece would be very nice. Is that enough to build the lab? We need the blue boys. Ooh. 
I like the overhang. Pretty. I wonder if this lets you customize and make it... Oh, you can make nicer windows? Oh, very cool. Now, see, that's what, this would have been nice if it was somewhat underwater. Well, you know what we gotta do now. That's awesome. That is really cool that you can upgrade the windows of that. Can we make glass floors? We can make a glass floor or ceiling. Yes, yes, you can make glass floors. But I think the problem with that is you're only going to see the foundation below unless you do a big overhang. So it is possible. We could we could try it out and see how it looks. That's that's awesome. So we could try well actually. Takes titanium, but let's see. Eh, you can't really see anything. No! I didn't want to delete the whole building. Just the better windows, that's all. Also, these these windows seem more clear than the other ones. These are a little more tinted, I guess. Wow. The lab is awesome. Cool. We got room for like maybe one more nuclear reactor here. Let's see what our power production is. Yeah, hopefully they update that so you don't have to uh, delete a whole structure to collect a window. I probably misclicked. There's probably a way to do it, but it should just be super easy. But hey, they're good. Based on everybody's feedback, they're going to throw in, you know, more features and more everything, really. Okay. That's why, that's why I want edges, so that way I can, like, define my base that way. Oh, that's cool. We can build some more solar panels here. Now, we need to be able to build... The, we got to rebuild the rocket stand somewhere. The rocket's not too terribly expensive. Flower spreader? Yeah, we're, we're kind of working on the, the base redesign first. Where are we going to put the biomass lab? Uh, you mean the, uh, the bio... Uh, biodome, yeah. Well, I guess we're still working on that. I 
I feel like we could put these growing units in the bio lab now. Oh crap. Yeah, we could put solar panels on top. I could put a ladder on the side to go up to the second story of the building without having to use like a ladder. we can build on top of the buildings. And we could put a launch pad down this way. I mean, we could, we could build a massive platform out there for the rocket in the water. It'd be really cool to have a water launch platform. Definitely something we could do. Alright, so now we can make a water... what was that thing? A water collector? A lake water collector. We need bioplastic nuggets, magnesium, okay. We just need more mushrooms. I love how we can put things inside the... I love when you can customize a building a little bit to your your liking. Oh. Oh wait, did I place the building sideways? Oh no. I don't I don't like the way that building's placed. So, in order to deconstruct these doors, I think we can only do the whole... Yeah, we can only do the bio lab. Oh well, at least that's easy to replace. Could move it over a little bit so we don't have to have this side hang. Yeah, the, the tiny Tina stream for today is probably it's probably canceled. I'm probably gonna move that to tomorrow. This game's too fun. We'll see. I'll probably end up playing this again. I'm not addicted or anything. I just want to make it clear, Chad. I could stop anytime I wanted to. Um, just don't want to. Placing this building is a pain in the ass. I can't tell which way it's facing. Like if I rotate it, oh, I can see the computer now. All right, so the computer will be facing that away. But it's impossible to place that way. Have to be like standing above it. All right, this is. This is where the computer's looking that away. 
I guess I want it facing this way then, fine. Okay, so I think this will be fine. I think that's pretty much how I had it before. Good thing I noticed that. We're gonna need two of these, cool. I like how the little door opens and you can tell like that you're looking at it. Oh, a lot of iron. We got more though. Maybe I could open up a hotel and casino now. Maybe we could build a second story onto this building. Oh, it'll be like a Crossroads Inn from last night. You know what would be really cool is if we could actually build... I, I want to be able to make walkways now. Like, to be able to connect these two together with little narrow tubes would be... Like, dude, if they have underwater building, that would be incredible. Because then you could have a base above and below water, and that would just be awesome. I guess we'll put a window here, too. Even though that ugly scaffolding's there, at least it lets the light in. Oh, but I can't, of course, I can't build scaffolding there. And we're out of iron again. Is the base still online? I'm not even sure if we have power. Oh yeah, we do. I just saw the number tick up, so we're good. I want to put a little catwalk here, but... Alright, at least up here we have room for more solar panels or something. We'll build a bridge out to where we... Supposed to go in the lab. Yeah, we'll check on the mines a little later. We got a lot of things to do. That was for more solar panels and whatnot. So what we'll probably end up doing is uh, those two algae makers will probably move to the other side. Uh, when you're building platforms connected to existing ones, does it... Oh no, e every time you build a foundation, it, yeah, it costs one every time you build one, yeah. 242 extra power, awesome. Alright, I think we should build a rocket platform now. And I forgot what that needs. Super alloy. And more titanium. Okay. 
titanium. Now, if this is anything like the, uh, the... Well, it's got stairs, so I don't think we can put it on the water. And I don't even think we can build it on other foundations. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we, we could build these little compartments and make them look like a skywalk. You're right. We could build living compartments and have them chained together. That's true. They're a little, little expensive, though. I guess it's good for when buildings are close together. These are a little far. But it's possible. Alright, so we need to do... bunch more stuff for that. Well, the light looks good. All right, we need to put the rocket down. Where do we put the rocket? I like this as a little landing platform but from the jump pad. I guess we'll have to put the rocket across... We'll have to put the rocket across the uh, ocean. We'll put it by the, old, the other platform over here. There's actually some flat land for it. It's the only other spot I think can think of where it looks somewhat nice. Yeah, Lake Raptoria. I think we need to mine the materials that are in the way. get some water and then we'll have to start working on the water pump cape what you call it what you call it you know actually flying across the um, lake is a lot faster than walking so we may as well fly Is this my favorite game? Yeah, right now I'm really loving this. It's like McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, come on, man. That's like the perfect spot. I don't think it's going to get any better than that. I don't know why there's not a foundation there, but whatever. Whatever. All right, so now we have a standby building here. Can we build buildings onto this? 
Oh wow, we can actually build like a building onto this. So we could put a storage area for all the rocket parts right here. That's cool. I like that. That's nice. Okay. Make a dump box. I mean, alternatively, we could just place a box, but... crafting thingy in here. Then maybe a desk to monitor other things. My god, that's off slightly. Crisis averted. is really fitting. How appropriate. First try. Nice. Okay. Um, well, I don't. I don't know what else we need here. But we can put lights on it, though. Oh, you can change the color of the lights. Ooh. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Maybe we should make him red. Are we running out of space in the main base? No. That place, the main base, has got plenty of space. We're on par. We kept pace in that place. But it's not like we're in a hurry. This isn't a race. Am I having fun? I'd plead guilty to that case. The base is sturdy. It's like we installed a brace. It's like tying a shoe. No Velcro. All lace. Uh, is YouTube confused again? The Tiny Tina uh, reminder was a false alarm, wasn't it? Yeah, I, uh... I'm having too fun, too much fun with this game. Uh, so I, I oopsed and I'm enjoying the game too much. Which is my bad. Because we're having a lot of fun in this game. Can the biolab go on top of the supply depot lab? Yeah, it probably could. We could build like a, a ladder to go up there. But then it wouldn't have like the, it wouldn't be at the level of the, um, of the platform. You know, I'm wondering if we can actually make creatures because it looks like we can do uh, bio whatevers, mutant, mut mutations and such. That'd be interesting. All right, let's build that water thing. We need nuggies. So that means we got to switch the uh, recipe from eggplants to mushrooms. And we'll probably move these inside now. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these into the bio lab for making mushrooms. Then we're gonna we're gonna convert this one for food. We're gonna move the ones for the bio lab to the bio lab. And then we need to build the biosphere again. So we're gonna need to build that somewhere. And I think that probably would be a good spot for it over here. So we'll extend this platform out, and then we'll build the biodome right there, and then build it into the side of the mountain. Very nice. Don't me don't make me buy another game. Hey, that's a good one, man. All right. Well, here's what we're gonna do, folks. I'm gonna take an hour break, and I'll be back in an hour for more Planet Crafter because it's amazing. And then tomorrow we'll take a look at Tiny Tina and some other games as well. So that stream will be uh. So the stream for Tiny Tina, I'm just gonna convert to a Planet Crafter stream, and then I'll schedule another one for tomorrow for the one that was gonna go live. Yeah, we dropped a seed, but I'll get it. All right, guys. I'll see you in an hour for more um. Planet Crafter, totally not addicted, uh, awesome game, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much for watching, Crazy Dinosaur Man out for a little bit, and I'll see you in about an hour. I need a break, but I totally want to play more. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. Just stay here, and it'll direct you to the next stream. Please don't leave. I need friends. Bye.